Yeah, it's our time to shine. Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine with hard work and time. You gotta climb to the top. Don't let yourself drop till your heart stops. Let this beat rock. Got a new clock and a new stock for this new rock. Just let your mind loose from the new stock. Drunk off the goose. Yeah. Thinking that I'm too pop. Yeah. Getting caught with a few thoughts. Cause I'm, I'm too to lost. Off. Speakers can't even handle me. Give it what I got. Nobody's gonna drain my energy. And I will never stop. I'm motivated by enemies. Setting up shop so everybody remember me. And now I am not going through life. Regretfully, I'd rather work. Non stop, but they call incessantly. Then want some more job just to live life pleasantly. Already got lost in my mind, not a fantasy. I'm getting it. I've gotten souls, so stop dropping roll. You lost all control. It pop off your bowl. I got squat, I fold. I'm not bought, I'm sold. My stock rocks, it's gold. Hey, knock, knock, she holds it. Shit, talk to clothes. I ain't stopping though. It's hip hop, you know. What was it, rock and roll? I'm not dropping tone. No, my pockets grow. You can't stop the show, so get rocked, you know. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. Attack with no questions in my own section and they still disconnected cause their mind's been infected and they're filled with objection too filled for recollection so we're losing all attention they don't know I'm in contention cause I'm gaining their attention cause I'm making a connection lyricism and aggression got me feeling my ascension in my passion my profession I'm attacking my obsession taking action and progressing uh, I go off on the enemy that's what makes them scared of me make my plans carefully then execute them daringly they say I get recklessly but that's why I'm effective see you can't predict my tendencies I offer no transparency some people think I'm lost others think I'll be a legend. I'm never gonna stop till I'm one above second. And my thoughts at the top, but my mind stay present. Yeah, don't let your dreams yeah. stop, cause dreaming yeah, is a blessing. They tell me all the same, so me I won't make a name. But it's not about the fame, it's about keeping me sane. So I stay within my lane, feel my blood pump through my veins. Feel adrenaline, no pain. Welcome all to my domain. Yeah. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. darkness out of the fear here comes the monster waiting in there heart rate is rising some call it scared you'll feel the chill start raising your heads it's too late you're here now i hope that you're prepared cause there's no getting out you can feel the energy dark like a cloud electrified by panic terror and doubt don't cross me or you'll learn quick the hard way that i'm not
do, 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 do. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome in YouTube. How are you beautiful people doing? Thank you so much for choosing to hang out with me on this Wednesday evening. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome, welcome, you beautiful people. Uh, Silver Slumbers, in terms of my favorite horror movie, it's John Carpenter's The Thing. Um, so I guess that counts as my favorite scary story, I guess. That one's definitely my favorite, 100%, though. It's, it's an incredible film. I absolutely love it. Hey, Cook, how you doing? Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the um, I appreciate the support. Did I ever finish the only up game? No. <laughs> I'm actually thinking of putting my most recent stream on YouTube, though, and actually trying to diversify my content a little bit. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm going to see if I can kind of edit something together that I'm happy about. But I've been looking to diversify my content for a long time now. So this might be a really good opportunity to do that because I think it was quite, quite fun. It was quite a fun stream on Monday. So yeah, keep an eye on that. That might be quite cool. What's crack a lacking? How you doing, Dark? Welcome in. Mr. Pigmay, welcome in. How are you doing? I am still doing the challenge. I am 10. Uh, I have 10 escapes. So I need 10 more. Yay. Anyway, <laughs> Irene, welcome in. How you doing? I do stream here, Jade. Yeah, I haven't streamed here in a while, to be fair. It's been a couple of weeks. What with uh, TwitchCon, um, it just, if I've, I felt like I missed a lot of potential days where I could stream here because obviously Twitch is still my main streaming site so I don't want to completely negate Twitch uh to come over here but yeah it was um it's nice to be back I can't lie am I standing up yes I am how many RPD badges I got <laughs> I have two well I have two on LED but I do also have other characters who I will hopefully have some on. But here's the thing. I don't want to spend any blood points because next week, Nicolas fucking Cage comes out. I want to I want to save all of my blood points to smash into Nicolas Cage to try and get him to P100 as quickly as possible. But I've got to go get fucking RPD badges. It's such a waste of money. <laughs> also, if I do miss your name, thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you all. Uh, and thank you for supporting the channel. It means the world. And I hope you all enjoy today's stream. If you don't know what we're doing today, we are going for the Outbreak Breakout Achievement, which is basically when you have to go to RPD, um, open the exit gates and escape. And I think you have to complete one generator as well, although I think it might just be the exit gate. But I don't know. Um, so that's what we're doing today. We need to get 10 escapes to get this achievement. Will we get it today? Who the fuck knows? Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. But we will see. I want to smash Nicolas Cage. Who doesn't? Lit Jade, thank you. Who doesn't want to smash Nicolas Cage? Mwah. He's a beautiful man. Just open up and leave? That sounds like a Saturday night to me. I mean, what? Anyway, what's my favorite Friday the 13th movie? I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of Friday the 13th. Like, it's probably my least favorite of the slashers. Um, I feel like they just, they really didn't do those movies well, in my opinion. So... Yeah, I just, I didn't like those. Uh, I'd probably say the second one, though, because we actually got Jason. Because in the first one, we don't get Jason. But we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Grant's first up is Hit my assassin. Forget when you scream, you can't do anything while you scream. No, you can't. Good news I have is I'm joining the RAF. Good news, indeed. Congrats to you. I hope that you are happy doing it. I hope that it's like something that you enjoy, you know? Would I say that I am, in fact, goated with the source? Right, okay, I understood. I know what goated means, but what the fuck does goated with the source mean? Nah, nah, see, I'm such a boomer. Goated, I'm gonna Google it. Goated with the source meaning. In a broad sense, it describes a white man with some unconventional quality and stylish flair who also conveys a slightly erotic presence. What? <laughs> Is that what that means? That doesn't feel right. No, no, <laughs> no, I don't. I wouldn't say I'm goaded with the source. That's not what I expected that to mean. <laughs> oh, I love it. The meme, a quirked up boy with a little bit of swag is he's goaded with the sauce. A quirked up white boy? What does quirked up mean? Quirked up white boy? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm a white boy, I guess. Yeah, I could say that. Quirked up with a sauce? I don't fucking know. <laughs> hey, Quartz, how you doing? Welcome him. How's Harry doing? I hope he's doing good. 
Uh, thank you for being here, by the way, Mr. Pinkman. I hope your dance appointment goes very, very well. And yes, Hex Mori me, this brain cell, uh, this brain cell is making me lose the achievement. Do you see what I mean? This achievement is making me lose brain cells. I got it the wrong way around because I'm a fucking idiot. Jesus. Some of us would say some might, yeah, but then a lot of people would would probably also call me a twat. So you know, it's kind of it, it, it swings and roundabouts. You know, you you, you gotta have the good with the bad, I guess. <laughs> oh dear me. Hey Link, how you doing? How close am I to getting the achievement? I am ten away, so I'm halfway. I'm literally bang on halfway. I've got to get twenty. Not sleeping in his cot, so I've been having to share my bed with him, which isn't fun. You know what? The amount of times my mom says that about my brother is insane. Like, my mom always tells me the stories of how at 4 a.m. she wakes up and there's fucking Isaac in the bed next to her, who's just wandered in at some point. I just think it's like a thing that kids do. They just want to be close to the people they trust and love, don't they? It's, it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute, to be fair. It's kind of cute. You know, you got you got to you got to appreciate that part of it. Jay can't sleep. Wait, do I have music? No, I don't. I had to turn it up. Eh, let's groove tonight. Woo! Share the spice of life. Do 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 do. Jay, thank you so much for joining the hall monitors. You absolute sweetheart. Enjoy the emotes and thank you for supporting the channel. Mwah to you. Big preach. The beanie is back, Mr. Pigmane. Yes. Did you only just notice? <laughs> thank you, Nova. I appreciate that. I got a lot of um. No, you know we're not gonna talk about it. We don't need to talk about it. It's fine. Trying to get one single last escape and he failed. That does not fill me with confidence, fam. Like, that does, <laughs> that does not fill me with confidence at all. And thank you, Thomas. That's very kind of you. That pitch perfect rendition might get me copyright straight. <laughs> imagine. Imagine I'd probably take that. I don't know if I'd take that as a compliment or not. Uh, like, I'd be pissed that I got copyright striked, but I'd also be kind of like, hey, that's pretty fucking cool, you know? That's pretty fucking cool. My son likes to sleep on the floor next to our bed. I feel like a lot of kids go through this stage of wanting to sleep on the floor because I did like if I had a pillow I'd sleep on the floor. I don't know why it wasn't comfortable. I never enjoyed it I always woke up feeling like shit, but I was a kid. I you know, I was I bounced back You can you can bounce kids you can just drop them and they bounce back up. Don't do that. By the way, it's terrible It's a f fuck <laughs> Everyone's gonna be going around dropping kids like ah, Aaron Duke told me to fucking do it Here we go, and then I'm gonna get arrested. So please don't go and drop your kids <laughs> I'm the fire in Earth, Wind, and Fire. You know what's interesting? I always thought I've always been described, obviously, as 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 being on fire and all that kind of stuff because of being ginger, and I had a very angry personality when I was a kid as well. So a lot of people describe me as very fiery. Ironically, my star sign, my zodiac sign, all of this stuff is water based. I'm actually water in everything. I'm a Pisces. Uh, I like my my birth month is is something to do with water like there's a lot of water factors to me um, In in terms of me being alive essentially. I don't really understand all the zodiac stuff, but you know Kayan welcome in. How you doing? Sorry you had a match. Did it go well? I feel like a watery flowery kind of guy <laughs> Thanks, I think I think that's a fuck <laughs> Do I take do I take compliment in that? I don't fucking know you know what, Rose? I read that as my kids often make a pillow fart, and I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Your kid's trying to give you pink eye? Like, Jesus Christ. No, Nova, don't make that a quote, because that's bad, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. People think I'm a Scorpio? I don't know what people would think of me as. This is what I mean. I don't understand Zodiacs. So I don't know if, if, if like, like, would people describe me as a certain other one? I don't, I don't know. You know, but then when I tell people I'm a Pisces, they're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're a Pisces. That makes sense. And I'm, I, I don't get it. Is that why my background's blue? No, my background's blue because it's my favorite color. So every time I look at my viewfinder, I'm happy. Basically, I'm a very simple soul. You know, I'm very simple. What year was I born? 1997. Gotta stay hydrated. Thank you for the hydrate. I seem like a Pisces. What does that mean? Ava, welcome in. How you doing? June babies equals best babies. I don't know if I'd want to be born in June though, because like, that's when all exams are at school and shit. Can you imagine taking exams on your on your birthday? That would fucking suck. Like March is 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 a place. Like I'm born in March, but March was like nice because it was like right at the start of spring. But you could also still have the chance of getting snow, so it was kind of like a fucking random month, and I loved it. Thank you for the luck, Jay. Appreciate you. Tall. Did you not know I'm younger than you? Did you not know how old I'm? Twenty six. 
Am I 26? I'm 26, yeah. <laughs> I've fucking forgotten my age. A Libra. Well, what are Libras? So, like, if, if you... What? what? Uh, Libra. Libra meaning? No. Libra characteristics? Male. We're getting somewhere. Intellectual men with affectionate and sympathetic hearts. You're giving me way too much ni niceness. Like, Jesus Christ, that's... F that, I mean, that does not... That does kind of look like me, though. So this is the picture that comes up if you type in Libra. I mean, let's be honest. The, you know, the ass is there. The cake is there. I'm okay with that. You know, like... That, that looks like me. That's me in the morning. <laughs> He, yes. Anyway. <laughs> Libra cosplay went. What? Just get butt ass naked? Sheesh. Also, on the topic of cosplay, though, this is something to talk about. On Friday, over on my Twitch channel, I will be doing a cosplay. I'm not going to tell you who, but I can tell you it will be cursed. You will load in, you will see this cosplay, and you will go, what the fuck? This is going to be for a sponsorship thing that I'm doing on Friday. I am going to be sponsored on stream by Marvel Strike Force. So that might give you an idea of what the cosplay might be in reference to. Maybe. Who knows? So that's going to be on Friday over on my Twitch channel. If you haven't checked me out on Twitch, it's Aaron Duke Game. Go and search me there. I think you can also use exclamation mark Twitch and you can, uh, you can get a link to that as well. So yeah, go check me out over there. That'd be fun. And I'm very excited about it. Flash. The Flash, Marvel, and The Flash? No, man, you're going to upset so many people. Am I going to watch the DVD movie? Oh, yeah, I'm going to be on opening night. You don't understand. I'm going to be right there opening night. I'm going to live tweet the whole experience. It's going to be fucking awesome. Um, Femboy Lotbun, how you doing? Welcome in. Thank you for the sub earlier, by the way. I do appreciate that. You're an Earth type. Is that like the... Um, Avatar Last Airbender stuff. You know what? Spider-Gwen would be really fucking cool, though. Spider-Gwen is, like, very much becoming my favorite character in uh, in Marvel lore at the moment. And every time I try and go and find, like, a Spider-Gwen, like, graphic novel or a, a comic book or anything, it's never fucking there. They're always sold out. Like, they're not popular enough to be in, like, not major comic book stores, and I can never find it. It pisses me off. What sign am I? I'm a Pisces. The fish. I'm a fish. I probably have to order it on like Amazon or something, but mm. can't wait for Nick Cage to play Nick Cage. Imagine. She hasn't had that many. No, that's what I very quickly found out and I'm upset about it. Did you not know, Ariel? Did you not know it was DC? It literally came out like a week ago and now it's already on digital. <laughs> hey, Lexi, how you doing? Welcome in. My ex was a Pisces and she was insane. Listen, we don't claim her. Thank you so much, Gecko Girl. I appreciate that. And welcome into the stream as well. I hope you're having a fantastic day. You thought I was born in 95? How old did that make me? 28? No. To be fair, I think it's the beard, you know? I think a lot of people think I'm a lot older than I actually am because of my beard. Like, when I was 25, somebody said I looked like I was 32. Fucking hell. I was devastated. I was like, what the hell? I don't look that old. <laughs> And I think people always put me in like my 30s. People are very shocked to say that I'm like 26. Will I shave it? I've said that the only way I will ever shave my beard is if I'm doing a charity event and somebody donates, um, I think it was 100 grand, and then I'd do it. That's the only time I would do it. Although if like, if the channel increases in popularity and keeps growing, then that number will keep rising. You know, I'm not gonna be, like at a level where we're raising a hundred grand on a regular and then have that because then it's disgusting i'm gonna cosplay harley quinn again dc <laughs> hey rem how you doing and also somebody asked what color my nails are they're black black nails they look kind of shabby though because i literally did them like two hours ago uh because i needed a break it's been a bit of a day so i needed a bit of a break 10 mil at least. 10 million dollars and I will shave my beard. Let's do it. 35? Wow. No, I'm not 35. 32? No, man. I'm 26. Am I going to be cosplaying the Joker? Again, DC. <laughs> it's a DC. <laughs> Stop it. 
Uh, thank you so much, T Diggle. That's very sweet of you. And welcome into the stream. I hope you enjoy it if you're sticking around. Much love to you. Right. We can keep talking, of course, because I like chatting with you people. But shall we actually get into some games? I think we should. I think we should actually try and start on this fucking achievement. I'm not excited about it. <sighs> but we'll, we'll see what happens, all right? We have two RPD badges left, and we have 10 escapes to make. Now, I'm no math whiz, but I'm missing a few. So we'll see. We'll have to see what happens with that. Tingle Dolls, how you doing? Welcome in. I forgot this was a DVD stream. Yeah, there's no category like on Twitch, so I could just sit here and chat all day if I wanted to. <laughs> Squirrel Girl? I don't know who that is. Geek Couple Gaming, welcome in, and thank you so much for the compliment. I hope you enjoy the stream. Captain America, I assume? Why do you assume Captain America? Like, what? It feels like... You, you, it, it's almost like a dig. Like, oh, Captain America, I assume. Why? <laughs> what do you mean? I said I was sorry, Lord JK. Love you all. Love you too. Wonder Woman? No, man. It's DC. <laughs> oh. Aaron is She-Hulk. Just paint myself green. <laughs> With a beard. <laughs> the epic beard. To be fair, Nomad's beard in, um, in Infinity War. Fucking fire, wasn't it? Really, wasn't it? Hey, Grim Reaper. How you doing? Welcome in. I followed you before you had 4K subs. Now it's the first time seeing your life. Hey, welcome in, Talana. How you doing? 4K subs as well. How many do I have now? Like 35, right? I lose track. Yeah, 35 and a half. Wow. That's crazy, man. That is crazy, bro. YouTube's gaming category is now streaming. Literally, yeah. Have I ever tried colored wax? No. I have always wanted to dye my beard, though. Because um, I just thought it'd be fun. You know, I've always wanted to dye it. But I have very sensitive skin, which is kind of annoying. Uh, so it's really hard to diet. It's really difficult to diet. So yeah. Only 35k. I didn't say only 35k. I did not say only 35k. I said 35k. Wow. I was shocked. All right. You, you shush. <laughs> Can I say the cosplay is going to be of a man or a woman? It's a man. So the plan, right? The plan with the cosplay is that... I'm going to do a cosplay for the first stream, but then because it's a stream elements sponsorship, if you're familiar with those at all, basically what happens is that you will have levels. And if you hit these levels, you earn more bonus uh, bonus points, essentially, and I get paid more. I'm not going to lie to you. I get paid more, right? So what's going to happen is I'm going to set the bonus levels to be new cosplays that you guys can vote on, and there will be some female cosplays in there as well. Okay, so you will have the opportunity to see me do potentially three cosplays, but at least, but at least one. Hey, Just Love, how you doing? Thank you, Avery. I appreciate that. And thank you for being here so early in the channel. Is it Blade? No. Blade would be cool, though. It's something to do with Marvel, Milky, so it's not going to be Ada Wong. Daddy Loki? I could do Loki. That might be cool, actually. All right, let's do it. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I mean, I'm not because I'm on RPD for the next fucking four hours, but you know. What achievement am I trying to do? Outbreak Breakout. Loki and Black Widow. I imagine Black Widow might be a popular choice for me to do, to be fair. Is it Fat Thor? Why not just Thor? Why would you assume Fat Thor? What are you trying to say? That's outrageous what you just said to me there. I'm doing good, Cat. Thank you. How are you doing? Oh, wow. It got me. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Thank you. Take the box. Doing gens and escaping. I think it's to open the exit gate. Are you chasing me? A brother in Christ. Why on earth are you chasing me? Are you chasing me? No. Cool. All right, let's go around to the jump. I don't know if I... Ha do I have to do a gen on this achievement? Or is it literally just like... to? You know, I should know the answer to this question. And the fact that I don't is disgusting. Fat Thor is close to get together. <laughs> True, I guess. I thought you'd more likely do th Fat Thor for fun. No, I'm not going to do Fat Thor. It's a, it's a possibility for a future, though. Is it just open the gates? All right, cool. 
You watched the Demi video? Guess where I got this idea from? <laughs> hey, Bella Lisa, welcome in. Thank you for the compliment. I hope you enjoyed the stream if you're sticking around. I could cosplay as Pinhead since I'm just bald. Just put pins in my head. Oh, yeah, just get some pins and fucking nail them into your head, Aaron. Easy clap. <laughs> Easy clap. It's not even a worry, man. I could do that next week. Silver Surf. Oh, God, that scared me a little bit. Silver Surfer would be very cool, to be fair. But, like, I'd also be kind of scared about the, the paint aspect of it. <laughs> In all honesty. Stop it. Okay, if he comes this way, I'm kind of screwed. Okay, nice. Oh, shit. I was about to say, look at me looping the chains, and then I just didn't fucking do it. No, don't be camping, sir. Is he camping? Are you camping? No, okay, he's teleporting, he's teleporting, he's teleporting. I came. Your husband is also called Aaron. Hey, Aaron buddies. Give a big hi to your husband. Asher from Twitch, so you're doing the same achievement Demi did and had to come watch and subscribe. Well, thank you so much for popping over. I do really appreciate that. Welcome in, welcome in. 10 escapes so far. I do have to thank Demi for the idea on this one because it's such a fucking horrible idea, but it's excellent content because people would just get to watch you suffer for a few hours. Who doesn't like watching a streamer suffer, you know? Always a good time. Always a good time. <laughs> uh. Nurse's best map is RPD. RPD is also really good for stealth killers as well, to be fair. Stealth killers, and I think Freddy also has a really good time on this map because he can just teleport around. Like, there are genuinely a few killers that this map is really good for. He did a head nod and said, sup. Have you noticed guys' head nods? Have, uh, you know what? This is, this is a little insight into men. You know, men and men's thinking. Here you go. Here's a little insight. If if you see a man nod, there are two nods that we have, and they're very specific in how we use. So if you if you see someone in the street and you just pass them, you give a down nod. You like, you know, and that's a way of saying hello without saying hello. But if you know the person you're passing, you give an up nod. You like, you know, like the way that somebody nods dictates if they know a person. Up, oh, yeah, I know you. What's up, man? Down is like, you're right. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. And every man just is, ah! Every man just like inherently knows this as well. It's not even something that's necessarily taught to us. We're just like, it's it's just a thing that you get, you kind of spawn into life knowing. <laughs> oh, damn. Scully is really good on RPD. I've never actually been against a score merchant on RPD, to be fair. What happens when you frantically nod at a random person? I don't know. <laughs> I've never met a man who does that. Like that kind of thing. Like, oh shit, he's on me? Oh, that's mean. Bye. I'm a woman and I do the nod. Who did I inherit the secret info from? I have no idea. You know the secrets. You need to be imprisoned and questioned. You shouldn't know these things. <laughs> Her drones go through both stories. Oh, like in Midwich. Yeah, that makes sense to be fair, then. What? Where is he? What? He, uh, he sounds like he's... Uh, there he is. Found him. Found him, guys. I found him. Don't worry about it. Found him. I didn't actually mean to do that. I didn't mean to drop that. My finger like tapped it for some reason and it was it was definitely an accident. <laughs> Why do I main LED? So I don't really know. Like a lot of people have asked me this question and I think an element of it was that one of my viewers when I first started out brought me an LED skin. Uh, it was the Christmas onesie and so I just started playing her and then never really stopped. So I think that was a part of it. But then I also think a part of it is the fact that when LED joined the game, that's when I joined the game. You know, it was um, it was when the twins came in, and that's when I started playing. So I think like I have a little bit of a connection with her. Pallet trigger finger, literally. Oh, thank you, Milo. I'm, that's a big uh, compliment. Thank you very much for um, for being here. 
Yeah, Adam, you know, I agree with that as well. Like, I didn't see many Elodie mains. So when I was, when I started, like, growing as a creator and I started noticing that a lot of other people had their mains, I was like, all right, who hasn't been chosen as a main? Like, what, what's a, what's a character that hasn't really been kind of claimed by anyone? And Elodie, Elodie, I, I rarely, rarely, rarely see Elodie being played by anybody. Do I recommend the Silent Hill games? Yeah, absolutely. They're fucking awesome. Like, um majorly influential uh, survival horror games. -na -na -na. Hey, Smithkiss, how you doing? Anything else I haven't got for the achievements yet? I need 10 more escapes, and then I am good to go. Have we three gen? I feel like we might have three gen. What? Why do it? Hola, como estas? I'm going to main Nick Cage. Uh, you know what? It's going to be tempting to do that, to be fair. You know, like, to <laughs> to leave Elodie behind and join the Nick, the Nick Cage brigade. But then I kind of don't want to do that at the same time, because that feels rude to Elodie. Halfway there. Yes, indeed, Leon. Halfway there. Same, Doctor. I'm really excited for the remake as well. Like, I'm definitely going to stream the Silent Hill 2 remake. Sheeple, Adam. Sheeple, a lot of them. Get this done, get this done, get this done, get this done, get this done. Ah, run away! Okay, nice. She goes to that one. We could potentially get upstairs and do that gen that I was working on. That might be pretty good. You don't have one main? That's fair, love. Just love. That's like me with uh, with Killer. I don't have a main on Killer. But I feel like with Survivor, it's a lot less restricting to have one main. So I'm not too fussed about having a main. Yes. Boom, boom. You can play Nick, but LED is special to you. 100%. Hattie is a good one to main. We like that. You started playing right before me. Must have Fritz, yeah. I started playing around Twins. Only played Survivor. And then um, when I started streaming was around the time Trickster came out. And that was when I started playing Killer. Because the f one of the first matches I ever played on stream was, was as Trickster. And I got very upset because I was doing a giveaway of the new DLC. And nobody came into my stream. And back then, I was incredibly naive with, with how streaming works. So I thought that if I was like, here's a giveaway, everybody would just come to my stream. And when they didn't, I was like, Wee! you know, <laughs> got very upset. <laughs> Megan and Kate, man, you should be ashamed to admit that. Could be a Feng main. <laughs> Feng main's a different one. Oh, I need to open a gate. Why am I saving people, man? I need to open a gate. That's more important. Oh, Aaron, get your shit together, sir. Oh, we found the box. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Come on. I just need to escape. Please don't chase me. Oh, fuck. Shit. Shit. Oh, it's all gone wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Why are you so fast? My man has, has no ed. He's got the no ed for sure, right? He's got no ed. He has the noid. Noid. You got that? Oh, he's got the bear hope! Fuck. It's all gone wrong. It's all gone so wrong. Shit. Oh, shut up, you bald bastard. Go on away with you. I'm not rooting for me anymore, Ghostface Ninja, but thank you for the support. <laughs> has that gate been opened yet? It hasn't, has it? Okay, I can potentially still get to that gate, but he's going to come and beat me up. I need to open that gate. I really need to open that gate. I need to just run straight for it and open it. Get out of the way, go, 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 get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. I need to open this gate. Come on, come. No, it's open, man. Where the fuck is that? Shit. I need to get around to that gate and open it. Oh, this is so dumb. There you go. Come. I get out of the way, Fang, for fuck's sake. Board on board crime. <laughs> Okay, I'm not at all interested in saving this man over here. All I want to do is is escape. That's all I want to do. I just want to get the door open and escape. I don't really care if he dies. 
I'm a bitch. <laughs> Come on. Get your legs moving, Elodie, for fuck's sake. We ain't got the time for this. Is it open? Is it open? <gasps> you, you, you do the save. You do the save. You do the save. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 chameleon. You come and go. Take the hit. Take the fucking hit, man. Why have you gone for me, you dirty bastard? Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. This is uh, this is not a good start. We are in a bad position, but it's okay because what we'll do is we'll wait here. He picks him up, yeah, and then we run over and we continue unlocking. We unlocking. We unlock. Yes, we've got this. Yes. Fuck you. Yeah. Gg's boys. Oh, that was good. Hmm. Holy crap, like I was, I, that was stressful. Does that count? Why wouldn't it count? That of course counts, right? Oh, please tell me that counts. I have a word. Achievements, in progress, outbreak. Why? Why didn't it count? I opened the exit gate and I escaped. Why didn't it count? I'm gonna send a strongly worded email to behavior. I swear to God, I swear to God. I have to open the first gate. I have to open the first gate? <sighs> Fuck. I thought it was just open a gate. <sighs> I, it's, it's like blatant homophobia at this point, right? No, yeah, you don't have to do a gen. That's a different achievement. That one's the uh, do a gen on the top level, I think, and then escape. That's the yeah, it's a different achievement. Fuck me. My achievement popped after two hours. That's disgusting. You don't have to do a gen. 100% you don't have to do a gen. Look, so this is what it says. It says, open the exit gates and escape from Raccoon City Police Department 20 times in public matches. So you definitely don't have to do a gen, but apparently I have to fucking open the exit gates, which is just a pain in my tush, to be honest. My build is pretty good. I've got Lithe, Windows of Opportunity, Wake Up, and Soul Survivor, right? So this is pretty good. I could potentially change out Lithe for Adrenaline, but then I feel like I'm really screwing myself for like the rest of the match. And I think it's better to, to try and give myself as much chance to get through the match as well as opening the exit gate at the end. It counted, just wait. It better have counted. I'd be so upset. Whoever made this achievement is the reason why actors are right. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, we do stand with the writers, of course. And the actors. I left him for nothing. He still died. Like, he was dead. He was on hook. He's dead. That's not my fault. Bam, 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 bam. I could change windows for resilience. I could, but I'm really bad at looping without windows. Like, I'm actually fucking terrible at this game and playing a survivor without um, without windows to kind of keep me going. So, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> Stealth the match. Just go and hide in the locker. He took the hit for you when you asked. He did take the hit for me when I asked, but then he was dead. You know, unless I had a beamer, there was not much I could do there. <sighs> Oh, no, it did count. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, fuck you. Oh, thank the Lord for that. The Lord has had mercy on me today. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's fine. We are one closer first game and we managed to get ourselves an escape. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm not feeling good about the fact that I've only got one of these left, though. That's kind of an issue. But we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. They made it easy to get. What do you mean they made it easy to get? What do you... <laughs> How is that easy? At what point there did you think I was having an easy time? Too much information makes you feel overwhelmed. That's understandable, Bonnie, to be fair. Thank you, Gecko. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Leftover pizza or bacon mac and cheese? Well, I'm a vegetarian, so leftover pizza. Also, leftover pizza is fucking fire. 
Like genuinely, I love leftover pizza. If I've got, I, I sometimes specifically order a pizza that I know is going to be too big for me at dinner time so that I can just put some in my fridge and eat it the next morning. Yeah, mwah. beautiful. You can open a gate when the gate is already opened. That's not easy, fam. <laughs> Still. You can't cage the cage. How many times do you think that's going to come up in like um, in content? Like, uh, pyramid. I played as pyramid head and I caged the cage. Perfect breakfast, literally. Leftover pizza is underrated as fuck. It's, it's just amazing. Do I have the evil incarnate achievement? I don't know. Should we find out? Uh, oh, no. Uh, evil. I do. Yeah, I unlocked it in 2021. Wow. I unlocked that in 20... This two years ago? You know what? Sometimes I forget just how long I've been playing this game. I hope Nick gets a Willy's Wonderland outfit. That would be cool. It would, right? A little t-shirt for Willy's Wonderland. I thought you were going something else with that when I read, I hope Nick gets a Willy. I was like, oh lord, what's that? <laughs> what are you going to be doing with that character then? Good lord. How do you heat up your leftover pizza? You know what? Dead ass, I don't. I do not heat it up at all. I... Fuck it, come I, um, I will just eat it. And it's fire. And it's amazing. And I have a great time with it. Thank you, Danny. I appreciate the support. How is that cursed? Cold pizza is fire. Especially like, uh, what is happening, boys? Boys, boys, please. What, what are we doing? Especially like cold cheese pizza, like just a cheese pizza. Yes, having that cold, yes. I, um, I will eat that forevermore. Is this a cracked Billy then? This is a cracked Billy, right? What is my man doing? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, get, get safe, get safe, get safe. Oh, he did be coming though. Fuck me. Ah! Shit. I think he's gonna be a cracked Billy. This Billy is goaded with the sauce. You need to knock that shit off. <laughs> oh. Why am I getting insane terror radius? Oh shit, that's why. Oh my god. Who is this man? He's crazy. I don't want to just spend the whole game running around trying to make saves. I actually want to contribute. Jesus. Um, shut up, Steve. Fuck's sake. I, I do not know what to do here. I am baffled within an inch of my life. I need to get started on a gen. Is this Rapid Main? <laughs> Rapid Main, Uncle uh, Banana Nana. Uncle Stan Banana, sorry. Somebody like that. Fucking cracked, guys. Have I got any nickname for the killers? Uh, I call him Billy Boy. Billy Boy. Um, doctor is a uh, pain in my ass. Ping Pong Boy for um, for Blight, but I feel like that's a pretty common one. Bing Bong Boy for Wraith as well. That's a pretty common one. Bong Bong, yeah, Bing Bong. Is Rapper Man EU? No, actually, no. He's American, isn't he? He actually said that to me. I met him at TwitchCon, right? One of the first things he says to me, he looks at me and he goes, are you American? And I went, no. And he went, oh, I'm never going to find another American here. And he just walked off. And I was like, all right. F yeah, fair enough. <laughs> and DC in this economy for the love of fuck. You've been shouted out by streamers for playing Billy extremely well. I, to be fair, like people who can play Billy extremely well, I respect. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, is he coming? Oh. Hey, Kate. How you doing, uh, darling? No, do the gen. We have no gens done. And we have one person out and you're on death hook. We need to do a gen. Now I'll heal you. Hey, Jamius. How you doing, buddy? Is he still playing? Uh, b -b 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 is he still chasing Steve or no? I don't think he is, is he? 
The scams, scams. I have no idea. I hate that noise. That's filling me with dread. Please stop this nonsense. Hide in the locker soon? No, no, no. I'm going to be a good teammate and try and help. But like, Jesus Christ, this man is, is very, very good. Whew. Scams tell you pretty much everything. Could be scams then? I guess. Chat wasn't showing me uh, showing for me earlier for some reason. That's weird. Oh, I'm on top chat. I need to change that to live chat. Scams is also NA. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know many EU streamers who are pretty cracked at Billy. I think on Uncle Stan as well. I think he's American. I'll just be gen jockey for a bit. I'm okay being gen jockey. If Steve can run this man for four gens, mad. Mad times. I am good with it. True. Mm. This doesn't feel like a true play. Wait, is he not chasing you anymore? Oh, I thought he was chasing you. You scared me, bud. <laughs> Although the killer is on high ping, so... Does anyone know who is cracked on the Huntress on EU? Um, Huntress? I know that there's a Twitter account by the name of, like, Squirtle Surgeon or something. He posts a lot of really cracked games. Uh, but I don't know if he's EU. I have no idea. I am not feeling good about this. I'm going to go and do this gen. Ah! Oh, there it is. I was like, where the fuck? This, I hate this gen. I much prefer it being over there because this one, you can just get absolutely screwed from directions and have no idea until it's happening. Ugh. Squirtle Surgeon, that's his name, isn't it? Yeah. Some of the Huntress plays that they put, oh my days. Absolutely insane stuff. What is, what, what is my man doing? Take him outside, my man. Lead him away, my man, please. I do not have the energy. Uh, you, you loop him there for a bit. I'm going to go away. I'm going to go into a gen elsewhere and be productive. Uh, who's the person, Jade? NA servers suck. A lot of people say that EU servers suck. Like, people who play on NA servers will then try EU, and apparently it's like a vastly different experience. I should bring Wake Up in my build. I do. Jaggy? Never heard. Oh shit, there he is. Ah! Is my man coming? Please don't come for me. Please don't come for me. Please don't. Billy, no! I can't handle your cracked gameplay, fam. I don't want it. Oh shit, that was terrible for me. I played that so bad. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. I got lucky there. I definitely got lucky. 100% got lucky there. Boom. There we go. A little fake there. A little beautiful fake there. And you know what we will do? We will, in fact, do that. And we will zoom away so he can't M1. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. His red stain still goes round. And you know what we do? We actually do that. And we do that, and then we go over here, and what we're going to do is we're going to give him a little bonk on the head. There we go, beautiful. And now we run away, smashing stuff. Smashed him on the head. We're going to keep running, we're going to keep running. We're going to hit this little, this little loopy loop here. Bada bing, bada bomb. And we're going to go over here. I keep forgetting I'm not hey Bob. Hey, hey, Bob! Oh, shit, my man. <laughs> Nice! Fuck yeah. That was a good little loop. I'm happy with that. Am I playing Slender the Arrival remake? You know what? I'm going to be straight with you. Had no idea that there was a Slender the Arrival remake. So I will definitely look into it 100%, but I it wasn't on my radar. Uh, but like I said, definitely happy to look into it. Uh, 
Aaron is hitting him with the gritty. I'm trying to sound like that out of touch uncle at the barbecue. At least you're not an uncle like Ace, where you just go up to the nearest 18 year old girl and go, ah, 18 now, are we? You know? How do you get this achievement? So you have to come onto RPD. You have to open an exit gate and you have to escape. That's it. You have to get it. You have to do that 20 times. Someone DC'd? Yeah, someone did. It was, it was ages ago as well. It was when we had five gens. So not great. Hey, Align, how you doing? YouTube's chat functionality is living in the Stone Age. I know, right? It's horrible, isn't it? It's the one reason I'm not fully 50-50 um, streaming on YouTube in comparison to Twitch, just simply because the YouTube chat function just isn't as good. I think he has Tinkerer. I think. Because he did go quiet on the Terror Radius and then just suddenly came back in, and it was around the time Kate hit about 70% on her gen. How good are Leon's perks? They're not bad. They're not bad. Um, I think they're really good if you're just starting out. They're very, like, beginner-friendly perks. Um, Flashbang, obviously, is used all the time. Flashbang is probably his most popular perk. But Bite the Bullet's also really good if you're going into a healing build. So, yeah. The chat literally fills up my screen on the right, covering your face. No shot. I mean, I do have it on the screen. If you just want to look, like it is on the screen as well. So you don't have to necessarily have your chat open as well. How is it on the PS5 then? Not great. Or is it just the chat that's an issue? As a girl who turned 18 recently, that horrified me. I'm so sorry, Ava. I did not mean to freak you out. Does it trigger every 70%? Uh, it's like Merciless, yeah. So it will trigger for the first time uh, Jen reaches 70%. Shit. Okay, so Steve is dead. Okay. I'm hoping there's a, build, uh, a Jen over here, but I honestly don't know where the... I think there's a gen down there. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think there's a gen ground floor, which might be our best hope. Or is it finished? Oh, it's finished? Oh, fuck. Where are all the gens? Well, that's not ideal. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I'm heading straight for the exit gate. I'm heading straight for the exit gate. The best, the ideal scenario is that he himself finds the hatch and closes it. That's the ideal scenario. I'm gonna hide here. Please don't see me here. I'll take that. <laughs> I, I will take that every day of the week. <laughs> Let's make friends with the killer. That's easy, isn't it? Go and find a hatch, please. Please, close it, Billy. Understand. Thank you, Billy boy! Look how fast that opening is. Jesus Christ. Three stacks of Soul Survivor with Wake Up. I could make that faster as well. TY, TY, Billy. Yes! That's two, baby! Woohoo! Two games, two escapes. We are going to complete this in no time whatsoever. Never mind the fact that that took me an hour. <laughs> What a start to the game. I know, right? GG's, guys. Is it a TTV, Kushi? Yeah, it's a TTV. The Hillbilly's a TTV. GG's, man. GG's. He complimented the Steve. He said, you are amazing. Awesome. 
wholesome endgame chat. We love it. And LED goated. Do I, man? You were a great Billy. 100% a great Billy as well. Like, fucking phenomenal Billy. Dun, dun, dun. He went right to me and was like, what are you doing? I was just crouched in a corner, man. I <laughs> like such a pleb, like, oh, don't see me. Um, oh, where am I typing? Apparently I'm typing somewhere. You helped with my achievement either way, so TY. But look, have fun in your next. Nice. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. You know what? We will do that, actually. We will leave him a little plus rep on his profile. Can I please have a waffle? How do you do it? How do you do the profile thing? Somebody help. How do you do it? Wait, huh? Can you do the profile thing? No. You can't. Oh, there you go. View profile. Did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. <laughs> did it. <laughs> Apparently, this person is the best huntress in Europe as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, I I can't I can't comment. I was going to comment. I can't comment. So never mind. I guess I will. I shall go and fuck myself because it wouldn't let me do it. <laughs> A tiny heart filled up that wholesomeness of the chat. It was cute, right? It was very cute. We love it. You couldn't comment, Joggy. You literally couldn't comment. It was, um, there was no option to do it. Oh, really? Hey, Bob, that fucking sucks. Do you think you're going to do it? You're going to help out? It's very sweet if you do. Right, who's my next most leveled up character? It's Jake. Jake. I haven't played Jake in so long. Do I have any RPD badges on the Jakey boy? I do not. Not Jake, then Meg. Oh no, am I going to have to play as Meg? Oh, everybody's going to yell at me. No, there's no one on Meg. Feng? Feng, maybe? Yeah, Feng has two. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Gotta do a fucking Feng build. <laughs> Uh, let's do Soul Survivor as well. Nice. Exactly the same build. We'll also bring in a med kit. And bada bing, bada boom. Let's go. Fung. Yeah, sorry. Fung. Fung. I always pronounce it wrong. I agree, Alex. I agree. I went from a proud man main to a degenerate Renato main. Why is Renato a degenerate? I thought Renato was, was, was fine. I didn't know they've, like obtained a negative rep already go to book off wednesday's annual leave spend the day because that's the only day she has often when the workers are being relied upon you're a sweetheart aren't, aren't you hey bop you're an absolute sweetheart is there a shirtless j cosmetic i had no idea i've only got this one on feng i think this is my um this is the cosmetic oh no can't just put buy in there we go Boop. now everybody knows I have that one. That's pretty cool. Uh, mime time. Mm, whatever the fuck that is. And then Nexus Ranger as well. Renato has loud flip-flops. <laughs> hey, speaking of, there you are. Oh my god, fucking four TTVs in one lobby? That is disgusting, bro. TTVs live. I've been ignored. <laughs> I've been ignored. <laughs> Shit. Killer's gonna dip. I know, right? Oh, no, the TTV's dipped. The <laughs> wow. Wow, I said TTV's live and they were like, fuck you. <laughs> well. Okay, we've learned that if you don't want every TTV to leave your lobby, you just don't ask them if they're alive. You just leave them alone. Imagine I get three more. I've got one more. I got the Stoinkers, whoever that is. I've been considering putting TTV back in my name, you know. I feel like I had a lot of really interesting chats when I had TTV in my name. 
because a lot of people would come over and, and say hi whether they lost or lose or uh, whether they, whether they won or lost sorry it'd be fun hey sonny how you doing the best and worst resident evil survivors the best and what are you asking me the best uh, resident evil survivor is claire redfield um the worst probably um uh oh fuck me i forgot her name ashley ashley from four ashley's a fucking pain in the ass annoys me the people who put ttv in their name and they don't have a twitch right they're literally doing it to troll yeah they do they're massively doing it to troll ada is the best nah ada's not the best claire is the best claire is 100 percent the best hey pigu how you doing welcome him ttv saw feng and was like fuck that shit i'm out literally rebecca i don't have a lot of experience with rebecca to be honest i don't remember i think is she in five or six um i haven't played her so i don't know a lot about her really shiva is the best or the worst whenever someone says ashley is the worst i'm like what did i do <laughs> not you silly sausage this ttv is live cool i mean if you want to go and say hi feel free just obviously don't give him any shit in re and resident evil yeah resident evil Rebecca is zero and one. Rebecca's in one. Is she? I literally only remember Jill, Chris, and Wesker in one. I don't remember Rebecca being in one at all. Leon, Claire, and Chris are the best survivors. Leon's good as well. Yeah, I mean, like, the mains are good. Claire, Jill, Leon, Chris, Ada, they're all really good survivors, but Claire, I think, just. For me, has like a special spot because she was the first one I played as. I love Claire. She's in Chris's story. Oh, shit. Completely forgot. Yeah, Smithicus, I used to do that, to be fair. I used to just have Aaron Duke in my name. But to be fair, I've been on Anonymous for months now. Ever since all the DDoS stuff happened, I've been on Anonymous. I think I more meant like I might come off Anonymous and have my name as Aaron Duke. Because I think I'm fairly known now as a name in the community. So... Like beforehand, when I didn't have TTV in my name and just had um, Aaron Duke, people would come up, uh, people would come over and say hi. Is that another corrupt? That is mad, bro. Why are we getting so many corrupts? I'm doing good, Lily. Thank you. How are you doing? Made me curl up inside my own asshole. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a statement that is. Imagine someone comes up to you and says, you know what you just did? You made me curl up inside my own asshole. I'd be like, what the fuck? If this is the same Billy, I'm so fucking sorry. Jesus Christ. I've just taken him to RPD twice. <laughs> Hackers are on the rise again? Are they? Shit. Thank you, Jen. I'm glad that you're enjoying the content. I hope you continue to do so. Gamer Aaron Duke. No one will ever know. I do need to have my name as I lost to Renato for a week. Um, so that's something I need to do soon, which I haven't done yet. Uh, but that will start, I think, probably on Friday during the Swifts. You watching between games? Thank you. I'm glad I can be some between match entertainment. Ba -ba -da -da -da, ba -ba -ba -da. Was that a fidget thing? What? Of mine? What do you mean? This is always a good gen to get done first because it can split um, the, the gens in half, like the gen structure, and really prevent three gens if you do it smart. So I'm going to try and get this one done as quickly as possible. You need cheese to win. You can, you're a pleb. Get in the bin. Look at you, a fucking poet up in here, Smithicus. We love it. Oh, was that a fidget thing? Oh, like Sergeant Fidget? No, no, no. That was the tweet. I put the tweet out for that. Uh, no, the uh, Renato thing is because of the 1v1s I did against chat on Saturday over on my Twitch. Um, I, somebody I lost to got the opportunity to pick my DVD name for a week and they chose I lost to Renato. If someone gifted me Undertale, would I play it on stream? Maybe. I would definitely play it 100%. Um, and if I did play it on stream, it would be like a... Oh, fuck you. It would be like a like a cozy Sunday stream or something like that, you know. Hey, yes, yes, yes. Oops. 
If I could hear banging. Did I see a buy flag on that thing? No, that was my buy flag. What's the achievement tormenting you? Outbreak breakout. Welcome in, Solid Spider. How you doing? Cozy Sunday stream games are so awesome. Yes. How did I cheat, Percy? How did I cheat? Persephone. Persephone. Ha! Got it in one. I, I didn't cheat one time. In fact, you guys cheated. You guys kept bringing in add-ons. It's disgusting behavior. Uh, bing bong! All right, now we need to do a gen over here a ways because we've done that gen down there, I believe. So if we can do a gen over here, that'd be good. Ideally on the ground floor. When do I do 1v1s? I think I'm going to make them like a monthly thing. I don't have a set day on them. Um, you know, like my Swifts are every Friday or Saturday, for example, mainly Friday at the moment. Uh, but my 1v1s are kind of just as and when, and they're normally quite big events. So um, I would just recommend keeping an eye on my Discord or my Twitch. And like I post my schedules at the start of every week. So you'll be able to check it all out on there and, and, and see if I'm doing anything. Where the fuck is the generator down here? Is it in here? Are you having a laugh? Are you are you are you serious? Nee. Oh well. Have I nailed down the next? No, it will be next month at some point. But because the last one was Saturday and quite recent, uh, it won't be for a couple of weeks. If anything, it will probably be during August at some point. I think I'm going to be streaming a lot during August because I have a potential sponsorship opportunity. Uh, so I'll be streaming a lot more frequently than I've been streaming recently. So. You'll expect a lot more content and a lot more ideas. Have a good one, Jay. Thank you so much for being here. Enjoy work. I know, right, Smith? Because, I mean, I just hate them at full stop. But, yeah, the gen spawns are definitely a part of it. I'm sure he won because of RNG. Me? Hey, Toby the Bee. How you doing? I know Legacy will be fun since I'm in America. I mean, in my Swifts, I play with Americans all the time. I play with Australians. I mean, Oompa, one of my mods, is from um, is from New Zealand. I'm pretty sure. So, you know, it's, I'm not I'm not not accustomed to playing with people like that. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. Okay. Sorry, I could I could hear banging and it was pissing me off. I thought somebody was trying to break into my house, but it's next door. They're playing basketball. I am not full-time PC. No, I really would love to be. But uh, financially speaking, it's just not viable right now. Um, but it is definitely a goal of mine to be fully 100% full-time. Hey, you Lele. Welcome in. How you doing? Is there anyone that I'd recommend? Killer-wise, yes. I actually have a video of like five top tips for new killers. Uh, so I would suggest watching that. It's on my YouTube, but just off the top of my head, the first killer I'd recommend is Wraith. Because I think his power allows you to get around the map really well and practice chases. And I think that's the most important thing to do as killer to begin with, is just get used to the chase mechanic, because that's the main thing you'll be doing. And then you can like progress onto other killers and, and start having fun with those. I'm doing good, thank you for asking. I'm doing really good. I've not been booted yet, Smithicus, no. Servers might be being shit, though, to be fair. It is DBD. Should definitely do the last weekend in August for no particular reason. I could. No reason why I couldn't. I probably won't have to do it mid-month uh, mid anyway, because that's around Nicole's birthday. So weekends are going to be... Um, not booked up, but not... Penciled in, you know what I mean? Skunky, how you doing? Welcome in. Thank you so much, Em. I hope you're enjoying the videos. And thank you for uh, for your support. I really appreciate it. Kayla, how you doing? Welcome in. Am I a dog or a cat person? So I have two cats, <clears throat> Charlie and Edison. But uh, if I had to pick between the two, I'm actually more of a uh, more of a dog person. Dogs just match my en energy a little bit more because they're fucking crazy and they're ready for anything. Um, so yeah, I'd probably say that my, my, my animal of choice is um oh please don't come down here is uh is a dog okay that gen's about to pop i'm gonna head right over here and get straight onto the exit gate don't you fucking dare oh you dirty boy hola senor como estas no okay it's fine i thought he was coming over i was gonna be devastated ah <laughs> people bye it was hopefully <laughs>
Well, that's too bad. <laughs> that's too fucking bad, isn't it? That's too fucking bad. I'm not. I'm not being good. I'm not. I'm not being a nice person. I'm not being altruistic. All right. I'm just gonna leave. It was the exact same Billy. It was the. I feel so bad. I've literally just screwed this Billy over twice with fucking RPD. And he's carrying him to the exit. Oh my god, this Billy is the best. Same Billy. Same Billy. Since you're a dog person, are there any particular breed that you love? Oh, I love most of them. Uh, but I think my favorite breed, uh, like mm, top three breeds, let's say, all right? Because it's too hard to pick between like one. Um, I love Staffies. I love Staffordshire Bull Terriers. I think they're amazing. I had one uh, called Harley, who was amazing. He was, he was an awesome little popper. Uh, beagles. I love beagles because I watched Cats and Dogs, the film Cats and Dogs, a lot when I was when I was growing up, and uh, the main character in that is a beagle. And then pugs or Frenchies, Frenchies more so because they're just fucking crazy. DLC is a discount on PSN. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bullying you? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh no. I keep getting him and keep taking him to, to RPD. Sorry about RPD. <laughs> Fucking hell. I get these maps. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I keep sending him in. Oh, my days. I genuinely hope he doesn't get me in his next match because he's going to get RPD again. I hope, I hope to all that is holy that he does not. <laughs> I'll be this thing min again. So just dodge if you see me. <laughs> Just dodge if you see me, fam. I'm so sorry. GG's though. You're a good Billy. Anyway. I have a French name, Sadie. Yes. You know what I found? I'm actually really good at Im imitating Frenchies. <laughs> That's a Frenchie. That's why I love them, because of that sound. Because they're fucking ridiculous little animals. They don't make sense as animals. And yet they're... they're, they're, they're and it's fucking amazing. Huskies, I love huskies as well. Huskies are so dramatic though. So dramatic. Not demonic enough. <laughs> true, true. Uh, all right, let's head back in. Let's get another one. We have what? We have 13 now? Yes. Yes. You found that offensive? I'm very sorry. You could have killed me with that. I just choked on my crisps. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what crisps you got? I'm jealous. I'm very hungry. I have no idea what I'm going to do for dinner tonight as well. I don't know. By the way, guys, I'm going to run a quick ad. Now, the reason I run ads is uh, is because it earns me money. Um, so, you know, I'm very sorry about this. But luckily, we are on YouTube, so they are skippable. Hopefully, you won't miss anything too much. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know ahead of time, all right? Love you all. Also, we need to hit 100 likes on the video. So if you haven't liked the video yet, please do. It helps me be recommended to more people. If we get 100 likes, then I have fulfilled my happiness for this uh, for this live stream. Um, so yeah, please do. YouTube Premium, preach. YouTube Premium is amazing, right? Pit bulls are great. So the Staffy I was talking about earlier was actually mixed with a pit bull. Um, and he was, he was just a really good dog. He was so cute, he was the best. I loved him, I think he was great. I have a cross between a pug and a Jack Russell. She's called a jug. <laughs> Courtney, please, I swear to God, please, if you are in my Discord, can you please send pictures of that in pets? If you haven't already. I don't think you have. Cheese and onion with a cheese and cucumber sani. Cheese, cheese and onion with a cheese and cucumber sani. You just have cheese, onion, and cucumber on your sani. Staffies are pit bulls? No, nah, pit bulls and staffies are different dogs. So a pit bull, a pit bull is that dog that oh, I typed in pit bull and I got the fucking wrapper. <laughs> God's sake, not you. Um, I'm pretty sure they're different, right? Pit bull, 
versus Staffy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're different. Where's my Discord? Uh, exclamation mark Discord. I think you should get a link to it. Images. Yeah, they're slightly different. So a pit bull isn't what I thought it was, but they are slightly, slightly different. So like that's a pit bull. They've got like the the ears. I think it's the ears that are the biggest things to do with it because like the ears are like straight up, and then uh, the bull terrier is like a little bit more down. You know what I mean? How many escapes am I at now? Thirteen. Yes, it is also in the description. The call. Yeah, very true. I joined and heard a bunch of shit about cheese. Maybe I'm still dreaming. Nah, you're right where you're supposed to be, Jesse. Don't you worry about that. Welcome, welcome. Uh, thank you for sticking around. If you've just like, uh, if you've just been an ad, by the way, I'm sorry I have to run them, but they, do. I'm in a match, but they do help me out with, um, with like revenue and stuff, and they make the YouTube gods happy with me. So, getting close. Yeah, we've had three matches and three escapes, so I'm actually feeling really good. The good thing about YouTube though is I don't have to run ads, you know. That's pretty good. I think I'm just now used to running ads. Like it's become almost like a reflex. <laughs> so I just run them. But no, I have, um, I don't actually have to run them like I do on YouTube. Staffies are very uh, soft doggos, yes. Oh yeah, Fritz, I was meant to answer that. The, the mouse and keyboard into console thing, I don't think is a, is a thing because like functionality wise, it's just not really built into them. I think when you buy a console, you buy console for like the console um, controller, you know? When you buy a PC, you're not just buying it for gaming, you know, that's why you got mouse and keyboard, but also controller support. Whereas when you buy a console, you're not really, you're buying that for gaming mainly. So I think that's why, like, they just don't see the need to. No such thing as a bad dog, just bad humans. 100%. Hu uh, dogs are just a reflection of their owner. So if you've got a bad dog, it's normally because their owner is a shithead. Oh, those are cropped ears, are they, Rose? Oh, I didn't know that. Maybe they are the same dogs, and I have no idea. I've always thought they were different. Ah, how's it going, boys? Get out of the way, Feng. My fat ass cannot get through there. Feng, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, consoles do have support. Oh. Maybe it's part of the porting then, like porting a game from PC to, um, to console. Like you just don't factor in the keyboard aspect of it. I have no idea. You do have the TV aspect of console. It's secondary though. You know, like the main point of consoles is gaming. I didn't know they even had keyboard support full stop. I thought it was just not at all a thing. Uh, personally, I don't know why you would plug a mouse and keyboard into a console. Like I feel like if I'm buying a console, I'm getting it because it's a console. You know, I know what I'm going in for. But that might just be because I grew up as a console gamer. So I actually prefer controllers. I don't actually like playing games on a keyboard and mouse, so that's just probably personal preference, in my opinion. Lemonade or Fanta? Oh. As long as it's not from McDonald's, Fanta. I think if I'm if I'm at McDonald's though, um, I don't get the Fanta because it tastes like fucking burning. So the lemonade's a little bit better, but but yeah, I'd probably say Fanta overall. Although if I'm mixing it, if it's like uh, as a mixer with alcohol, it's always lemonade. Like I don't really have Fanta with anything. Hey, welcome in, Kusin Echo. How you doing? I just CBA sitting at desk to play games. Better couch, all I can do. True. True. Do 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 do. Oh, he's got Fearmonger. Oh, he does. Fosters and lemonade. That's the. Um, what's the word for that? Um, is it Chardonnay? It's not Chardonnay, is it? A sherry? Is it a sherry? There's a word for like when you combine beer with um, with with lemonade. I think it's a sherry. I think it's called that. Shandy, that's the one. Thank you, Jamius. Would I rather fight one elephant-sized mouse or a hundred mouse-sized elephants? A hundred mouse-sized elephants. Elephants, a hundred percent. Can you imagine an elephant-sized mouse just fucking be there? Uh, chomp you. Little, little mouse-sized elephants I can just kick. Ah, you dirty bastard. Okay, well, he, he's having fun. Fanta and Coke was a drink we mixed up a lot as kids. Gross. I think people are doing that now on TikTok. I'm pretty sure I've seen that. 
Explain to you what Swamp Pass is? <laughs> Why? Why do I have to explain Swamp Pass? Oh, God. I would say Google it, but then if you do Google it, don't go on Google Images. Mods. My mods. You guys are here for this very reason. Explain what Swamp Pass is. <laughs> so I don't have to. <laughs> oh, dear. A cola float. I never had like any cola floats or anything like that. It's like we're putting ice cream on top, isn't it? I've never had it. Imagine Shrek's home in your ass, basically. Basically. Perineum. Wow, Jamius. Look at you busting out the fucking medical terms. <laughs> I thought, you know what, Pillow Hex, I'm so sorry, I don't mean to like call you out or anything here, but Dandelion and Burdock is genuinely, without a doubt, the worst drink I have ever had the displeasure of tasting in my fucking life. When I was growing up, my family always had Dandelion and Burdock, and that was the one they'd go for over everything, so they sometimes only have Dandelion and Burdock. I fucking despised it. I hated that drink, it was disgusting, it was like drinking a flower. What do you mean? Of course I would think that. It was like putting a flower into my mouth. It's like Turkish Delight as well. I don't like Turkish Delight. It's too floral. It's too floral. You know? I think as far as I'd go, as close as I'd go, is probably uh, Dr. Pepper. It's not the bee's knees, Charlie. It's not the bee's knees. Palmer Violet Gin as well. Yeah, don't like that. I don't know why everything has to be fucking mixed in, like, as if it's in my back garden. I'm drinking it from a, uh, from a dandelion. It's literally got the word dandelion in the name. It's disgusting. Sounds good, Cuts. Yeah, you might need to talk a little bit to be able to send pictures, uh, Courtney, but you will eventually be able to do that, of course. I don't know what burdock is, no, but dandelion can get right in the bin. Do not come for Turkish Delight. Listen, listen. If I wanted to eat floral, if I wanted to taste floral, I would just pour a fucking cup of perfume into my mouth. Okay? That's essentially what you do when you have a Turkish Delight or Dandelion and Burdock. You may as well go into Boots, say, give me the nearest perfume that you have, the cheapest one you have, and pour that into your fucking mouth. It's disgusting. Oh, is that what Burdock is, Red Scratch? Oh, I know what it is then, yeah. I know what it looks like. I've just never... That's poison? Exactly! It's poison, that's my point! <laughs> yeah, Thomas, same to be fair. That's up to you, Courts. If you're happy to do that, you feel free to. I'm, like, obviously, that's if you are happy to put him online. What's the difference between blackjack and licorice? Uh, I think, isn't blackjack, a, blackjack a specifically a sweet? I think. I'm going to go see if I can get that save. I haven't really encountered the trickster at all. What? Okay. Okay, I got you. I got you! I got you, fam! Turkish Delight is basically the same as Dandelion and Burdock. It's just got chocolate around it. Blackjack's are licorice-based sweets. Oh, there you go. This is a little bit different though, isn't it, Courtney? Like, putting it on a streamer's Discord is a little bit different to putting it on, like, your personal Facebook. Fuck off! I'm healing me, bastard! Actually, I don't know why I did this. This is a terrible idea. Ah! Oh my god, that was so close. No, if I could have just got through that doorway. Bastard. I feel like my man is camping because he's always around the area. So I think he's waiting for somebody to come by and then chasing them off the hook. Seems to be his style. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, I would say so, Quartz, in all honesty. I mean, feel free to send it if you feel comfortable to, but, like, do be aware of what you're doing, you know? Can I have a tickle, please? Thank you, Tinker. Tinker Dolls. Tinker Dolls. Why do I recognize the name Tinker Dolls? What? Isn't Tinker Dolls currently in my chat? Are you fucking coming after me? No, okay. I feel like Tinker Dolls is in... Right. 
Best Pringle flavor or Poss mm, be best Pringle flavor. No, not sour cream. I can't. Sour cream. I, I only have sour cream if it's in like the little tins. But if I have too much sour cream, I get really sick. Like sour cream is really, really sickly for me. I think either prawn cocktail or Texas barbecue. Texas barbecue is fire. So I'd probably say that one. But prawn cocktail is great. I wouldn't say like a whole tin of prawn cocktail and had the most horrendous heartburn I've ever had in my life. It was fucking disgusting. Um, and I haven't had them since. But genuinely, they like burnt. They burnt my whole throat. What am I doing, by the way? I don't even know. I need to go find a gen. I'm just nobbing around. That's all right. Bing bong. Cheese and onion. I've never had the cheese and onion ones, you know. They were like a late bloomer, weren't they? So I never actually got around to having them. American honey. Oh, I, okay. I don't know what American hus uh, honey mustard is, but I tell you what, paprika Pringles are fire. Yeah, Nova, 100%. Pap uh, paprika is underrated as fuck. It's so good. Where are the gens? Uh, okay, that one's done. That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. Oh, shit. We're probably three gen, right? I think we're three gen. Fuck. I think he's upstairs. Nope, he's there. Maybe upstairs there's one. Like... I can hear one. I just don't know where it is. Hello. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> I want to heal? Okay, fair enough. You hope I get a ghost face? Why would you say such things to me? <laughs> Why? You like how I say paprika? Why? Oh, Americans call it like paprika, don't they? Paprika. No, it's paprika. With Takis? Oh my god, don't even talk to me, Nova. I was so excited about trying Takis because I'd heard so much about them. And I tried them and I was like, is this it? Like, I was really disappointed by Takis. Oh! Oh shit, as if he got me there, that's crazy. Please don't come after me. American call paprika bell peppers. See, we call be we call peppers bell peppers. Paprika. That's how I'm saying it. Paprika. What do you mean? Hot Cheetos. Uh, we don't get Cheetos a lot over here, but what we do have at the moment is a What's It's alternative. Or a What's It's Crunchy alternative, which is fire. It is the definition of misery to cough. Yes, that I mean. It's... Oh shit! I'm so sorry, called that. I mean... <laughs> Seeing Demi do it is what made me decide to try and give it a crack, and it's uh, it's disgusting. It's an absolute disgusting thing. Scaramoos, thank you so much for um, becoming a hall member or continuing your hall member. I think that means thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I have nothing cool or funny to send, so hi, I guess. Hey, Scara, how you doing? You doing good? I hope so. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. It means the world. Since when do I stream on YouTube? I've done a couple of streams here and there, but I'm trying to make it like a once a weekly thing, Rainers. But it has been a while since I managed to stream on here because um, like with TwitchCon and everything, I just did not have a lot of time to dedicate to it, unfortunately. No, 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 Mr. Trickster. No, no, no. Demi hates himself. Why would you follow in their footsteps? <laughs> it's true. Because <laughs> I'm a masochist. <laughs> You're only five escapes through this achievement. I am 13 now, which is crazy. There's an overtime incentive at work, so I'm very tired. You get that cash dollar, though. 
Do you also hate yourself? I'm a streamer. You know, that means that I have a certain level of masochism associated to my name. You know, yeah, yeah, you gotta have a little bit of masochism. Because otherwise, would you really be a streamer? Well, probably not, you know, probably not. Okay. What do you root for me, tall? What the hell? Exactly, Nova, exactly. Is the 10 units back? Not yet, but maybe in the future we'll bring the 10s unit back. All-time favorite po Pokemon? Squirtle. I actually have a tattoo of Squirtle. You can kind of see it peeking out there. Um, but yeah, I have a tattoo of Squirtle. Squirtle is the best. Okay, I'm going to need you to close that hatch. Are you saying streamers are masochists? Listen, streamers will do things that nobody else will do. For the for the sheer joy of having a couple of extra numbers next to your view count, right? Streamers, are, you, I feel like to be a successful streamer, you have to have a little bit of ADHD and a little bit of masochism. You know? <laughs> it just fits. You know, it just fits. Look at that. Look at that speed. Look at that opening speed, man. Oh, it's so fast. My man hasn't even got a chance. Oh. GG's. Nice. That was good. What was that voice test? Uh, it was, it was, um, it was Trickster's. So, hey. I'm pretty sure I know Tinker Dolls, right? Tinker Dolls has been here. Right? Are you... Yep. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, it's Tinker Dolls. They, they came in and said hi earlier. I thought, I thought I recognized the name. Hey guys. I'm pretty sure Tinker Dolls is in chat, right? I noticed a lot of streamers are introverts. Yes, yes, a lot of streamers are introverts. I think, um, I think like, they enjoy the fact that they get to be in a room and just be themselves. I think a lot of people mistake what introvert means, to be fair. Like, a lot of people think introverted means you're just, like, really quiet. Um, but but that's actually not the case. It's just that you get your energy from being alone. alone. You guys were great. Good luck. Have fun in your next. Don't forget to double check to see if it counted. Fuck off. It did. Don't say these things to me. Why do you say these things to me? Why do you make me panic? Okay, it hasn't uploaded yet, but it will. It will. It will upload. You've made me fucking question it now. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Apparently, I'm an extrovert, Nova. Apparently, I'm an extrovert. I have no idea, though. I've always thought I was quite introverted because I've always preferred to be on my own rather than around people. Hey, Mallow, how you doing? Welcome in. But um, I think I took a test. Hey, Tinker, how you doing? GG's to you, by the way. You played amazing. You guys played very well. Sorry you guys died. I, I'm not a very good teammate at the moment because I'm just trying to get out. <laughs> so I do apologize. Um, anyway, yeah, I took a test and apparently I'm, I'm actually extroverted, which I didn't know. I hate being around people. Why my thoughts with Michael would scratch mirror add-on? Fucking love it. One of the best ways uh, to play killer is to play a scratch mirror Myers. We love it. You can be an introverted extrovert. What? I, it doesn't make sense, though, man. You know? It's going good, Mallow. How are you doing? Been social more than a couple of people. IRL, drain my energy. Literally, Link. Like, I've been with Nicola now for four years. Well, four and a half years. And Nicola has now... Nicola can now pinpoint the moment that my social battery runs out. Because it's like a switch. It's literally like somebody just switches something on me. I just go quiet. And I just zone away and I don't talk. It was terrible. You know what? You know, it was actually really bad um, at TwitchCon because for the whole of TwitchCon, I managed to keep my energy levels like really up. 
But then we went to the Eiffel Tower for a picnic with uh, the son of Jazzy and Luna Gitgood. Amazing people, by the way. We hung out with them all weekend. They're lovely. And genuinely, I did not interact with them at all because I was fucked. I was like, my social battery was gone, right? And we met this Australian couple. We met this like 50-year-old Australian couple. Jazzy and Luna chatting away, chatting away the entire time. They were with us for like an hour. I didn't talk to them once. I don't even know their names. I could not do it. I was just like, I was laying on the floor. Like there's even an Instagram post that Luna posted of the people that she met. And in the picture, I'm lay on the floor with my eyes closed, not interacting. It's so bad. I'm definitely an introvert, 100%. There's also Omnivert. What does that mean? You eat like meat and plants as well. <laughs> too many people, uh, too many people near scare me. Too many people near scare me. I think I get what you mean. And yeah, I'd agree. I mean, I like being around people. I've never had a problem like doing presentations and being at the center of a group. That's never really scared me. I think if it did, I wouldn't be a streamer. But um, I can only do it for like a set period of time. And then I need to kind of go on my own and just chill out for a bit on my own to, to recuperate. You know what I mean? It's illegal to have pointed ears. What? Oh, because it's a chop. I thought it was the other way around. I was like, why? Why is it illegal? But no, I get it now. Okay, I need to find another survivor who has RPD badges uh, because I've ran out on... Oh, Kate. Kate has them. Excellent. Cool. Let's do Kate. This is good. This is good. I don't really like playing as Kate, but we'll play as Kate for the meme. That's all right. All right, cool. Cool. You have 90 RPDs. Can I have one? You get your energy from eating meat and plants. <laughs> Quiet by Susan Kane. Ooh, I might actually check that out. Thank you for the suggestion. That's cool. You have all survivors. I do. It's just about if I have the RPD offering on the survivor itself. Because uh, I'm struggling to find them. <laughs> I am an LED main, Mallow. Yeah. Zebs, welcome in. How you doing, buddy? Scary, you did great, by the way. He did absolutely great. Obviously, like, you were a little bit nervous at the beginning, but I think everybody was. But you you did fabulous. You should be very proud of yourself for how you acted. Pretty Pink Princess Kate? No, Cowboy Kate. No, not Cowboy. Uh, Scare Scarecrow Kate. Yay. <sighs> you have a few hundred RPD badges. That's mad. You get my energy from watching Aaron struggle with this achievement? That's for you, Nova. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Bastard. Most people don't like playing specific survivors because of the screams. That's probably part of the reason. I don't think that's like a full reason though. You know, like, um, I think that people will main a survivor mainly just because they like that survivor. What killer main am I? I don't have a killer main. I don't have a killer main. F so for me personally, I think if I had one killer main who I played all the time, I'd be very bored and I'd get very, I'd get like, 100% more annoyed with, with playing the game than I currently do. Everybody is in anonymous mode in this server. That, um, that doesn't feel good for me. Um, <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I don't pick one main. If I had to pick a main, I'd probably say Plague. Because I love I love playing as Plague. I, I, I always have fun. Never mind, they left. They left. We're also uh, 14 escapes now. So we've got six escapes left, which is really good. What achievement am I doing? The Outbreak Breakout. And yes, I've had four out of four escapes today, Rose. But look how much I've had to sacrifice. I've had to leave people behind time and time again. I've been a terrible teammate. Terrible. I'm not a worm instead of I'm not a slug. Whenever it gets down, not picked up was a missed opportunity. True, yeah, true. But then again, I do think they just kind of put Nick Cage in a room for half hour and went, go. I don't think they really gave him uh, like a, a lot of direction. Is this my last achievement? No, I've got a lot to get to be fair. I've got 79% of achievements. I've got 180. Um, I don't know what I have left. So I've got to get Dwight, Bill... I've got a lot of adepts to get. I need to do taking one for the team. I've got to do spirit one. Um, Hillbilly, I've got a chainsaw survivors. 
I've got a player's doctor. I'm not even halfway on that one. That's disgusting. Uh, I've got to unhook, unhook myself. That one should be easy. That's just deliverance. That's pretty good. Don't let me nap for more than 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, we got you, T Diggle. We got you. Don't worry. Escape eight times while repairing the equivalent of one generator with only three universal perks equipped. Oh, we're doing that one at some point. That's a bit of content right there. Yes. I could, Nicole, but then I'm kind of screwing myself with the RPD one because I'm not giving myself the best chance with, like, Wake Up and Soul Survivor. If you master believe, won the game. <laughs> yeah. I'm mother. I don't know what that means, but thank you. I think it's a compliment. So I will take it and say thank you very much. I really appreciate you. <laughs> oh, no, I've turned off the chat. Oh, my bad. Sorry about that, guys. Boop, there we go. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. I main deliverance. I find that whenever I put deliverance on, I'll get hooked first. Like that. Immediately. He's saying you've got tits. I mean, we established this in a previous video, to be fair. Have I got boobs? You know? Only is the only one I've adapted. Hmm? Stop turning chat off. I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> Am I going to play the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game when it comes out? A hundred percent. hundred percent. Yes. I'm very excited to play it as well. It's it's um, It was really cool to play it during the tech test. It was an absolutely awesome game. I had a really good time. Um, the only thing that I kind of didn't enjoy was the fact that there was no progression. But obviously it was the tech test. So... I'm not like holding that against them. So I'm really excited to start like leveling up characters and exploring the characters and just like really getting stuck into the game. I'm not going to stop playing Dead by Daylight. I'm going to try and kind of 50 50 them. But you will see a lot of uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre content on my channel 100%. Favorite Disney movie? Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch. I don't know, Juggy. See, this was the thing. Oh, fuck. Sorry about that. This was the thing I found during the tech test was that I had no idea what kind of content to make. You know, I, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be like, this is the best survivor. This is the best play style. Um, we, were, we went in as a three-man killer squad against survivors, and this is what happened. You know, all that kind of stuff to begin with. But I'm really interested to see what the content's going to be in like three months' time. You know, how the content develops and what it's going to look like. Oh, fuck me. Fucking doctor. I hate doctor. I hate doctor. I'm not holding it against them, cat. <laughs> you gonna think it's gonna get boring quite quick? My main worry for Texas Chainsaw Massacre isn't that it's gonna be... It's gonna get boring, but that they... It's gonna get stale in terms of uh, content. Because this is always the issue when you release a game that's attributed to one, uh, one intellectual property is that your your potential for content is very limited. You know, Dead by Daylight, they can bring in anyone from anywhere. They're never really going to run out of possibilities for new chapters, whereas something like Texas Chainsaw Massacre or the Ghostbusters game, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Friday the 13th, etc., etc., all of these things have a lot more of a limit on, on what they can and can't do. But we'll see. Hopefully, it's better. Uh, hopefully, uh, you, hopefully it's better than what I expect. Sorry, and hopefully they have a like a roadmap, and it's um, it's gonna be good. But yeah, they do have the movies, but that like a lot of the movies were just Leatherface, who they already have in anyway. Hey, Tia, how you doing? Welcome. In. You have a bearded dragon named Stitch. Love it. That's awesome. Have a similar concern with the Evil Dead game. Evil Dead, yeah, that was another one. Although I think Evil Dead had massive balancing issues. Because, um, like, I, I used to play Evil Dead. When it first came out, I played a lot of it. And I actually, I had quite a good time on it. Oh, you bitch. Um, but the reason I stopped playing was because I went up against a Swift. And had an absolutely terrible time as Killer. Because the game was just so badly imbalanced. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, shit. How are these hitting me, man? I'm, I f I'm feeling attacked. What did I think of the sequel, Lilo and Stitch, with the red one? If you're talking about Lilo and Stitch 2, Stitch has an itch, I haven't seen it. 
I don't want to see it because I know what happens and I don't want to see it. That's fine. <laughs> uh, I've seen Stitch the movie though and I loved Stitch the movie. I thought that was really cool with all the different experiments that came to life and the one that makes sandwiches. I thought that was a really fun time. True, Rene, true. And I know as well that the creators of uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game have spoken with the people who created the original movie and apparently they have the rights to use like unused characters from those movies, which I think is awesome. I, I'm hoping that their, their like content plan will help them last longer than a year and that the all of the excitement that we've currently got for the game doesn't just fizzle out when it comes to live service, you know what I mean? What do I think of the live action one coming out? I'm not excited. I'm not excited to do all. I genuinely would prefer there not to be a live action Lilo and Stitch, 100%. I think. Uh, I think live actions full stop are kind of. Um, they're always like hit and miss, and, and I just don't see the point in why they're, they're updating all the movies, I guess. I don't know. I just don't like them. Leroy! That's his name. Leroy, yes. Dab Nater, how you doing? Welcome in. Fuck, I almost missed that one. Sorry about that. Saying since Wesker released that lunges have been increased. Maybe? Either that or it's just a ping issue. Da, da, na, 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 da. Uh, I will say on Friday the 13th, though, just as like uh, kind of in defense of Friday the 13th, one thing I really liked about that game was the community around it and the fact that when people were playing it, they didn't take it seriously. It's something that I think Dead by Daylight really suffers from, is that the community is just too competitive. Whereas when you played Friday... You fucking bitch. When you played Friday the 13th, you know, you were playing it to have a little bit of a meme time. And everybody knew what it was about. And, you know, that culture around the game was very, very well established. So I do think it had that going for it, which was really good. Please go down the stairs. Ah! Fuck me, my man scared the living fucking bejesus out of me. Go, go, go! Ah! Oh shit, the fucking shit. Oh, that's a fake pallet, isn't it? It's a fake pallet, isn't it? It's a fake pallet, isn't it? Ah! Oh yeah, proxy chat would be terrible in DVD. Like just looking at the DVD community now, proxy chat would be a fucking nightmare. Oh shit. DVD fans like that until MMR. I think DVD felt like that until a win condition was implemented. I don't think it was necessarily MMR itself. I think it was more the the fact that when they when they specified what the win criteria was, a lot more people obviously were a lot more committed to winning. Because I remember when I first started playing DVD, I had no idea what a win really meant in the game, like, especially when you were playing as Survivor. Well, as Survivor, was more clear, especially when you are playing as Killer, sorry. So I didn't really care what the outcome of a match was, whereas now it's it's a lot harder to, to just get people to kind of have a chill time to it because... Everybody knows what a win is now, so if they don't win, they get kind of mad about it. My opinion, anyway. Fuck me, she's over there. Jesus. Yeah, same, Tiger. 100% same. The only, th the only way I would use proximity chat is in custom games. That's the only time I would use it. Any other instance, I would not touch it because I just don't think it's worth it. I think DVD definitely has a toxic community PC. I think it, like, I watched a video about it recently, actually, uh, by Lias or something, I think his name was. Oh, fuck off, Doctor, you fucking, I hate this killer so much. You have no idea how much I despise this killer. 
Um, and anyway, yeah, they were saying that like one of the main reasons for the toxicity in the game is this us versus them mentality, which I agree with. I think the the survivors versus killers debate oh, has always been something that's been a real detriment to the game and how people play it because you just you're always pitting people against each other and the arguments start from there. I think. I hate I hate Doctor so much. I hate Doctor so much. It's such a nightmare of a fucking killer to go up against. Oh. It's the only time I get salty in this game is when a doctor loads in because I fucking despise them. <laughs> Can't stand it, man. Yeah. It is a nightmare, Ninja Billy. Yeah, 100%. I would say League and COD as well. COD's a very toxic community, I think. Probably Smithicus, yeah, probably. Why what, Fritz? Why do I hate the Doctor? I need a chest. I'm looking for a chest, by the way. I'm just running around like an idiot. Please give me a chest. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I'll help with this. I'm probably gonna die for this though. It's not about getting good against the doctor. Like, it's not a skill thing that's my issue with the doctor. It's the, oh, it's the um, it's the sensory overload aspect of it. Like going against a doctor is just a miserable time because it's just constant screaming and and just misery. Like I'm just I, I just don't like it. It just makes me get it makes me anxious and it makes me agitated. Redrop that. There was nothing I could do. He blocked the pallet, little shit. Constant healing pisses me off. It's understandable, yeah. What are you doing, Claudette? What's going on? <laughs> Why are you teabagging me? <laughs> what was that? What did I do to Claudette? Is it because I was just on gens, I guess? Maybe? <laughs> uh. I think I upset Claudette. It's probably because I didn't go for saves, to be fair. Like, it's understandable, I guess. Oh. Is he just slugging it? Think she threw the game? Maybe, yeah. I'm gonna get all my struggle points. Gonna get every single one of them. How do, how do I don't die at die? Like, make sure they die at their but they like. Um, practice. Practice, Mad Flam. Practice. Be very kind to yourself when you first start because you may lose a lot of games, but that's okay. It's all a learning experience. And then just work your way and you'll become you'll become better over time. And don't be toxic. Alright, first match where we didn't manage to escape. I think I upset people by just doing gens. Oh dear. Do we we don't know the Claudette, do we? Like we don't know that name. No, it's it's um uh Anonymous. I don't know. I'd have hooked her instead. I think they made friends, maybe, I don't know. Well, well Claudette died anyway. Fair enough. I think he actually the he yeah, the hatch was there. I think he actually left her on the floor specifically to make her think that he was going to give a hatch and then just didn't. 
GG's. Lol. What happened? I'm interested. I'm interested to see if they respond. I don't know if they will. AFK? The bag's on me? That was AFK? The dunks. I gave up. Ah. Fair. Uh, good luck for me next. Fair enough. Leon did so good at chase four gens. I couldn't do anything to save the game. Yeah, that does get frustrating when you when you kind of dedicate your entire game to like one person. But uh, but that kind of stuff happens, you know. And that 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 in itself is a learning experience because you're learning about whether or not you should go for like one person constantly, or whether you should. Um, whether you should drop chase and when you should drop chase. Like, all that stuff is really good to learn. Oh, mm, 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 mm. It's all just a learning curve when you get started, you know? And then and then you start to hone in what works for you in terms of perks and stuff. And then and then you'll... Um, yeah, you'll start to just figure out your play style, basically. I don't have a challenge. I've not had a challenge this entire time because I'm a bloody idiot. Dude, stun me. <laughs> All right, let's go again. You're blind? What do you mean you're blind? She just gave up, wasn't doing it to be a jerk? Yeah, no, no, no. She wasn't doing it to be a jerk. Always good to check, though. Always good to check. Normally, when people bag on you when you're down, it's because they're mad at you. So, I just wanted to double check. Alrighty, guys. This is like your hourly reminder to please like the stream if you haven't already. It helps me out. This is something that we don't do on Twitch, obviously, because you can't really like the stream. Um, but please try and get us to 100 likes. It would be awesome to hit that number. Uh, it's what we aim for in every single live stream. And I'm always happy if we come around, come out of it, sorry, with 100 likes. So if you haven't already, please do give it a like and, uh, and help us hit, hit that number. It'd be awesome. <laughs> Look at these names. Stop slugging, stop tunneling, stop killing. What's my devotion? Uh, eight. Devotion eight. I actually recently hit eight as well. I'm eight four. I always like the Twitch streams. You can't like a Twitch stream. What do you mean? Best pizza topping? Oh, all right. I'm a basic bitch. I'm a basic bitch when it comes to pizza topping. Like a cheese and tomato pizza. Like, I love a good cheese and tomato pizza. In fact, I might actually message Nicola and see if she wants to get a pizza tonight. <laughs> uh, Nicola. <clears throat> I think the best thing you two did was get rid of the thumbs down number. I agree, to be fair. Yeah, it's, it was good not to, not to have that there. I mean, obviously, there are ways that you can still see the thumbs down. Uh, but it's it's nice not to just have that blaring on the screen the entire time. Phoenix Legacy, thank you so much for the compliment. I hope you're enjoying all of the content. Thank you for being here. Mwah. Margarita is definitely the best pizza. Pepperoni for me, I'm a, I'm a vegetarian. Oh, you know Ding Dong Matt? Hey, nice. Say hi to them for me. Tomato, pesto, mozzarella. That's also a very, very good choice. Um, I'm not going to lie, before I became a vegetarian, my favorite was a barbecue chicken pizza. Barbecue chicken was like, oh, so good. But I was also kind of partial to Hawaiian. Mm, I was kind of partial to a Hawaiian pizza. If you don't know what's on a Hawaiian pizza, it's ham and pineapple. And I wouldn't mind that. I would have that quite happily. Sweet corn, ham, and mushroom. Not a bad little combination, to be fair. Ham on pizza is a really good thing. I'm actually, I'm somebody who does not mind pineapple on pizza, but only if there's like a good meat to offset it. And I think the best flavor to offset it is, is like a salty meat like ham or gammon or something like that. But obviously you're not going to have gammon on a fucking pizza, are you? But yeah, you have to have something to offset it. You can't just have like pineapple on cheese, for example. Is that Wraith? Fuck. Bing bong boy. I thought you didn't eat meat. I was saying when I did eat meat. 
Why did I decide to become a vegetarian? So I've been a vegetarian now for like three or four years, I think. Um, and the reason was because I, I read a study that said that um, they compared, they basically compared two people. Like, I think they were twins and they put one of them on a meat diet and then one of them on, on a vegetarian diet. And apparently the vegetarian was a lot healthier. They had a lot more energy. Um, it was better for like them in the gym and stuff. So basically the conclusion of this, and there've been other studies that kind of replicate this. The conclusion was that vegetarians and eating a, a plant-based diet is actually better for your health in many ways. So that was the main reason. I also think that more people need to go vegetarian or at least flexitarian to help with the issues of like the meat industry and overconsumption and all that kind of stuff. But that was like a secondary issue for me. I just divided all my viewers. I do that a lot, to be fair. I do that a lot. But listen, you will always get pure honesty from me. Even if that honesty may upset you, at least you know that you're going to get it. At least you know where you stand with me, you know? It's always important to know. I was staying as old, I found out you, I could just keep the water up before hopping in the shower. What does that mean? Matters matter. That's why I, I hopefully, you know, always strive to be as a place where you can have differing opinions as long as they're not offensive and, uh, and your opinions will be respected. Yeah. You get candor, literally, right? Like plant-based meat is f fire. Like, I tried to be vegetarian when I was a kid. Um, I think I was like eight. So we're talking like a good 15 years ago. And um, I don't know how the fuck I managed to get away with that, but I will take it. Um, and the biggest issue I had was there just wasn't a lot of good alternatives for being a vegetarian. You know, it wasn't a very um, good choice options, essentially. Oh, he's left me? Why did you leave me? You had the drop on me 100% and that was crazy. But nowadays, plant-based meat is a fire. Like, they're so good. I actually prefer plant-based meat over what I remember meat tasting like. You're canceling me for saying I like pineapple on pizza? <laughs> you know what? Of all the things you could cancel me for, pineapple on pizza is probably the most tame. Is Nicola a vegetarian? Nah. No, she's a flexitarian. So Nicola's very picky when it comes to food. So like when we go out to restaurants, she she kind of defaults to certain meals. So like, for example, Hunter's chicken, which is basically barbecue and bacon on top of a chicken breast. She'll kind of default to these things. And being vegetarian just is a bit, um, a bit, a bit scary for her, I guess. Veggie burgers, yeah, they're off phenomenal like a uh, beyond meat burger is uh, just absolutely amazing are you chasing me i heard you were you chasing me then <gasps> bitch i think she was chasing me for a second i don't like how chewy meat is you know what i really didn't like about meat was how heavy i felt afterwards so whenever I had meat, I just felt really heavy for a long time. It was like I could feel the meat kind of sitting in my stomach. And I hated that. That was like the worst thing about being uh, being, uh, being a carnivore. I just didn't, I really didn't like it. It's so one of the main things I love now is I feel a lot lighter. Yeah, so Courtney, uh, you can't do it because you haven't spoken enough. You need to reach level two. Uh, so you just need to speak a little bit more. You'll gain some XP, you'll level up. That's all you need to do. She has health stuff. Nicola? No. No, no health stuff. Um, she's just really picky. She's a picky fucking eater. She's gotten better since we've been together because we've had like HelloFresh and all these different things. So we've definitely um, been a bit more adventurous with the food that, that she's been eating. But, but yeah, she's just an incredibly, incredibly picky eater. Hubris, wow. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking hubris. Bollocks. Okay. Let's have to run.
You'll never see me here. Ah, we're all good. Veggie burgers have gotten excellent, yeah. Like Beyond Me um, is, is probably my favorite. Moving Mountains is incredible. Like it's nice to be able to now go into restaurants and um, and be able to to have a selection, you know, not just have a vegetarian alternative, but have a selection of vegetarian options. That's that's always really, really nice. Condition where, oh no, so uh, if you're talking about, um, she can't burp. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, Nicola can't burp. So it's not that her stomach gets upset, it's just that she gets a lot of trap gas because of that. How did you come back and hit me there? Fuck, my man's flick is insane. Jesus. What food do I replace it with for like protein and other things? Uh, veggie meat is really good for protein. So like a veggie burger, veggie chicken, all that kind of stuff. Really, really good for protein. Ah! Well played, well played. Yogurts as well. I don't have to have a lot of protein though because I don't work out. I should. I should really get into working out a little bit more, but you know, who has the time? But yeah, I don't need protein as much. She can't burp, why not? So there's a thing, um, I, again, I can't remember what the name is, but it's a condition basically where the muscles in your throat aren't strong enough to make burps. So you know, so you know when you're about to burp and you feel the gas coming up and you kind of, your body kind of makes that like groaning zombie sound as it comes up and then you burp. So her body does that, but then the gas kind of stays there and then comes down again. She just can't get it past her throat essentially. Thirsty for Doctor, thank you so much for popping in. I hope you enjoy the stream. Welcome, welcome. Have a tickle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And she can't like drink fizzy drinks as well. You know, so she doesn't have really anything carbonated. It, yeah, it is really bad. Like she gets really um, fucked over by it in many scenarios. You know what? Like the you know what the worst scenario is? She can't laugh too much. If she laughs too much, she obviously takes in a lot more oxygen, which can then result in a lot more gas trying to escape her body. Um, so, like, just... I think that's probably the biggest issue for her. You know, if she has too much of a good time, she genuinely gets really sick and has to stop. Hey, Marcy, welcome in. I do stream on YouTube nowadays. Yeah, I stream, like, once a week on YouTube. Something like that. It genuinely is, yeah. There is, a, there is a remedy, though. So apparently, this condition is becoming more and more prevalent in the medical community. So there are actually people now who will treat it. And basically, what they have to do... And I'm so sorry to anyone who has a fear of needles, because this is going to sound disgusting. But they basically inject Botox into the muscles in your neck. And, um, and that fixes the problem. It basically gives your muscles the ability to burp. Hey, Marcy. Normally, I schedule my streams on on YouTube a couple of days in advance. So, hopefully, you'll be able to catch that. Because you, you get to schedule them on here, which is pretty cool. Me or the Ray, if it's boiling. <laughs> if Veggie Rose and Water Restaurant would have, I'd still eat. I'd still eat even though I'm a carnivore. Good. I think what a lot more people need to do is not necessarily become vegetarians. But flexitarians. I think if more people became flexitarians, we'd have a lot better uh, of an industry, to be honest. Would she do that? Oh, yeah, 100%. She is currently saving up and talking to doctors to get that Botox injection. Like, it's something which is very much on her agenda to do. I'm trying to find a chest so I can potentially get a new med kit, and I cannot for the life of me find one. Yes, Mythicus, yeah, that would be pescatarian. Uh, yeah, that would be pescatarian, not vegetarian. Definitely, hey, Bob. I think it's like it's become just a, a natural thing. 
you know to have to have meat with your meals i think because a lot of people don't realize that you can get protein from other sources so they just automatically for the protein section of their meal go to meat yeah no it's definitely a pescatarian yeah yeah 100 percent I think this one's going to be a loss as well. It's Kate, man. As soon as I put Kate on, I started losing. It's fucking Kate. Beans, yeah, beans is a big one. Um, oh, fuck, missed it. Vegan sausage rolls from Greg's are fire, right? I love vegan sausage rolls from Greg's. They're so good. Please save me. No, she's literally in a locker somewhere. Feng's going for the Feng's going for the final escape. I mean, I'm not saying that when I played as Elodie and Feng, every single match was an escape court, but like, uh, you know, as soon as I switched to K, I lost two in a row. So, when there's a common denominator, you kind of have to look at the facts. Ah. Uh. I didn't mean to spectate, I meant to leave. The person called stop tunneling. <laughs> oh, stop leaving your teammates to die, man. You used to play K a lot, what'd you stop? Nicola hasn't replied to me yet about the um about the pizza and I'm very upset about it. I will not stand for this Kate slander. I'm just pointing out the facts. <laughs> Right? Like, I'm just pointing out. I'm going to switch to Michaela and see if I get a better outcome there. I'm hoping that I get a better outcome there. Not live shit. Uh, hope. And then soul. I do not have soul. Oh, no, I spelled it wrong. My bad. Soul, survivor. Go into here. Put on a first aid kit. Bada bing, bada boom. Cool. Let's do Michaela and see if we win. Let's not forget Kate is homophobic. We've all seen the video. <laughs> Bam. I played with a Swift and we all grinded out that achievement. I did consider making today a Swift run, but like genuinely, I think you guys will fucking absolutely screw me over if I bring you in. Like you'll all open the gates or you'll make sure I die. You'll do something ridiculous where I just get absolutely screwed over left, right, and center. <laughs> hey, Phoenix, I am very much broken. Yes, I am a broken man. Upset spaghetti. Switch to Nia, Feng, and Ace. You played Ace? Ooh. That's where you bring trusted people? Who? Who? Normally, that would be your mods, but I feel like my mods fuck me over more than anyone. <laughs> How many wins have I got? 14. So I've got six left. Certainly some of us would do that. Yeah, some. Majority of people would do that, I think. I am hurt. It's the truth, fam. It's definitely the truth. Oh, this person's called Bubba's Meat. It's fucking disgusting. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Play Quentin? Why would I do that? Quentin's a little goblin. Also, I don't... I have, like, no perks on Quentin. Du -du -du -du! I don't think, anyway. Du -du -du -du! Where's Quentin? Oh, he's Prestige 1, so... I might have some. I don't have a lot, though. Oh. Imagine a streamer not trusting your mod. Oh, yeah, like, that's an uncommon thing. Ah, oh, thank you, Just Love. Do I not trust my community? No. Hey, Fluffy Boy, how you doing? Why the fuck would I trust... Why, why would I trust you guys? You're sat here watching me lose me marbles trying to do this RPD achievement. Why would I give you the possibility of making that even worse? Like, what? <laughs> why would I do that? It does not make sense. Yeah, uh, White Delta. I wanted 100k by the end of the year because it was a challenge. Like, last year I set myself the, the target of hitting... 
I think it was actually 5k by June and then I wanted to hit 25k by the end of the year and I think we ended on like 31k. So like last year was really good for the channel and I thought if I could keep up that momentum I would have 100k by the end of the year no problem. But the issue was at the start of this year I experienced burnout a couple of times which meant that my content slowed down drastically. Um, and it meant that like the subscriber count wasn't really climbing that much which is why we've only gone up like 4k in the past four five months the momentum slowed down a lot because of that uh but it's starting to pick back up again which is good definitely starting to pick back up again i'm feeling very happy with how the channel's progressing and uh, yeah hopefully it keeps going maybe we'll be on track who knows that's the doctor have a good time thank you so much for being here Oh shit, Quartz. I'm sorry to hear that. Harry needs to go to his room without dinner. <laughs> Does it count if you leave through the hatch? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe matters. I'm not, I'm not sure. Hey, Vibrant, how you doing? I don't mind the game. I change. I will stay away from her. To be fair, I think the only upstream perfectly encapsulated how my community would screw me over. <laughs> you have to open an exit gate? Yeah, but if you like open an exit gate and then you go and and jump into the hatch, like that should work, right? Why? Why, Claudette? Why? You literally just got on the gen. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I feel like Mr. Wraithman is going to come over at some point. I'm leaving. Oh, what if it's the same wraith? Uh, I'd feel so bad. Yeah, I need to stretch my face out. Maybe you were chased away from it, Thomas. I don't know. Like, like earlier on, to be fair, we had um, a killer with Devour Hope. It was Pinhead, right? I had Devour Hope. So, like, if he had come along as I was about to leave, and I had somehow managed to, like, spin him and get away, then... That's not very good, Courtney. You need to slip him some Valium. I that's good. <laughs> yeah, White Delta is hard. It's hard to keep up that momentum, but I've genuinely been happy with the progress that my my channel's been making a bit more recently. Like I felt like I'm getting back into my groove a little bit. And I'm happy. I'm happy with it. It's been really good. Mystery, how you doing? Welcome. In. I got something in my eye. It's really starting to piss me off. Ow! Glad you're happy with it. Thank you. Oh, I need to get Saturday's video made, though. <laughs> Do I like FNAF? Eh, it's all right. I think I'm not as big of a fan of it as other people are, but I'm definitely... Um, I'm definitely appreciative of what it's done for the horror genre, especially the indie game genre. Uh, in terms of it coming into the f into the game, I do think that in November we're going to get a FNAF chapter. I think just after the movie's release in October, the killer only chapter that's scheduled for November will be um, will be FNAF. In my opinion, I think. He finds it funny. To be fair, my my little brother's like that. Like my little brother will sometimes um, lash out at my mom and then laugh. So I think that's just kids. Hopefully he'll grow out of it and realize it's not funny. Hopefully. Don't start dosing him up. <laughs> what is... <laughs> Solution to child. Give him drugs. <laughs> Would I consider playing Outlast? Outlast, no, because I've played, I've played it like four times. I love that game. But I've definitely played it way too many times that it wouldn't be scary to me anymore. Uh, other horror games, though, absolutely, I would. Yeah, I will really want to play Alone in the Dark, which comes out, I think, in August. I'm not sure though, but or October maybe. I really want to play that. Um, there's a couple of other horror games coming out as well, like Silent Hill Two. I want to play. I've played Resident Evil Four um, on my channel. So yeah, I love horror games. I love playing with them. I, pl I love playing them. I like on the are we not healing? Are we not healing? Oh shit. Oh shit. 
Why would you not fast vault? Fuck it out. You almost got me so killed, bro. What about Amnesia? I played the new Amnesia on my Twitch uh, channel. Amnesia the Bunker. I played that over there. I'm still debating whether to make a YouTube video out of that. I'm potentially looking at hiring an editor to do it. Uh, but I've got to I've got to get around to contacting them again because I've been really bad with replies recently. It's been terrible. Where are fucking gens? I cannot find a gen. Help! Hi, uh, in supremacy. Welcome in. How you doing? Games are going good, mystery. Thank you very much. Games are going very good. Having a lot of fun. Is that a pride flag? Where? On on her? Yeah. If you mean on my hat, it's a buy pride flag. Oh, there's one. Found one. Takes a chance on Masker. I'm going to play as well, yeah. Would the Velociraptors work? I don't think so. I think it would be funny to see them in the game, but I doubt they'd work. Uh, Vibrant, I actually made a video about this for uh, for licensed killers that I would want in the game. And uh, my top one was Pennywise. I would love to see Pennywise in the game. I think that would be really, really cool. Um, but yeah, go and check out that video if you want if you want a top five licensed killers. But why? Because I am bisexual and then I am very proud of my sexuality. So that's why. And always all Gecko Girl. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a fantastic day. And uh, enjoy work if you can. Hola. Como estas? Isn't Pennywise just the entity? In spider form, yeah. You thought it was queer baiting? No, no, no. I am 100% um, bisexual. How do I think Pennywise would work? So I've wanted Pennywise... Well, do you want to heal? Is that what you want? I'm not healing you now. <laughs> you can fuck off. Heal yourself. No, fuck off. Heal yourself. Um, so I've wanted a shape-shifting killer in the game for a while. And I think that Pennywise would be really cool for it. I think it'd be interesting to have a killer who either can um, can shape-shift into, uh, into another killer form or even shape-shift into a survivor. Kind of like what the Legion was advertised to be when he was in his trailer. I think something like that would be really cool. But I think for Pennywise, um, something I'd like to see is like different forms of the the character of Pennywise. So maybe like uh, Pennywise as the clown, Pennywise as the mummy, Pennywise as the painting. And each of these models would have a different way of interacting with the game. You know, they'd have like a different ability uh, and all that kind of stuff. I think that'd be really, really cool. Something we haven't seen in the in the game before. I'd love to visit Spain. I've oh fuck, I've visited Tenerife, um, which was very very cool. That didn't work out at all. If that if that pallet wasn't there, I could have made that work so much better. But it just Jason Voorhees skin for Trapper would be cool. I think that would cause absolute uproar in the community. I think if we got a Jason Voorhees skin for Trapper and not just Jason Voorhees in the game, I think people would be fuming. But yeah, anyway, I haven't visited Spain. I visited Tenerife. Uh, Tenerife, sorry. That was really good. No, it wasn't actually. I hated Tenerife. What am I talking about? Um, I like the Spanish language, though. That was fun. I visited Portugal. Portugal is lovely. Again, kind of Spanish. Borderline. Not very, though. I have Phoenix, yeah. Um, I can never pronounce the guy's name. It's like Rafa Links or something like that his name is. But yeah. Why is everyone always on the other side of the map? I have a theory that next year's EU TwitchCon is either going to be held in London or in Spain. Uh, because I think that the Spanish community on Twitch is quite is quite big at the moment. So... I wouldn't be surprised if we had a, um, a Spanish Twitch con. I think it'd be really cool as well to see it, to be fair. But it hasn't been announced yet, so I'm not sure. Do I think uh, killers like werewolves would be killed killers? I do, but I don't think we're going to get a werewolf in the game because I do know that the creator of Dead by Daylight has said that they're not interested in, in bringing werewolves in. So, like... Oh, wow, okay. The lag on the hit! The lag was insane! Like it swung, finished swinging, and then I went down.
GG's. You'd love to see Hitler become a new killer? Yeah, that's gonna happen. That's definitely gonna happen. Yeah, they're gonna bring Hitler into the game. You absolute lemon. Eddie or Richard would be fun. Yeah, I mean, they have so much potential for the, um, for the survivors, to be fair. So much potential. GG's, another lack of escape. We started out so well. We started out so well, and then it just all went to shit. Ugh. Oh, well. Be out eight. We'll be all right. Da -da -da. Thank you guys for hitting 100 likes on the stream, by the way. Big preach. You played so bad. Listen, your mom played so bad in bed. All right, tell her I won my $20 for last night and piss off out my channel, you cunt. You're not meant to die? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I've played those games, Smurfy. Yeah, I love those games. Um, I'm very excited for the DVD one. I know that the people who created Until Dawn and The Quarry and all those kind of games, they're actually creating a Dead by Daylight one. I'm very excited for that. I don't know when that's coming out, though. Probably in like, I'd probably say like two years. Um, so I'm very excited for that. But yeah, I love those games. I love those games. Do -do -do. I hope today has treated you well. It's all right. It was a little bit better earlier. Now we just keep losing. <laughs> if Candyman would his power be bees? Probably. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. The issue with Patrick Bateman is that he's just a guy with a knife. And I think we have enough killers that are just guys with knives. Where I don't feel like he would add anything of value to the game. So I'd probably say no to that one personally terrifier is too much i've never seen the film so i have no idea but from what i've seen of clips and people talking about it it would be incredibly violent to bring into the game but that might be good i don't know yeah thomas yeah that's the one yeah he has a hook for a hand yeah yeah he does yeah the Teletubbies. <laughs> to be fair, we got an unexpected survivor in uh, in Nick Cage, so an unexpected killer would be really, really cool. Do we need more clowns? Yes. It would say it's like the ultimate clown, though, isn't it? You know? Well, Pennywise is, not Terrifier. Pennywise definitely is. Chucky Bride Tiffany. The issue with, with like, Chucky and, and all that, those kind of killers, like Chucky and Megan and... Uh, 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 leprechaun and all these kind of things they're just too small you know like imagine hag but smaller it'd be a fucking nightmare do I have twitter I do have twitter yeah just Aaron Duke you can search me on there if you want what's with the trend of three names so three is is uh, is a concept you'll find anywhere the rule of three so like you find it in comedy for example uh, you get like the holy trinity like, three is actually a very common number to find across the world. It's like a satisfying number to to be a part of, you know? To, to you, sorry. You want to kill a spider? I feel like if they bring in a spider, though, it's too similar to the entity. There is Sp uh, Spidatus. Yeah, it's uh, my favorite movie as well. John Carpenter's The Thing. Definitely my favorite movie. Pirate-themed killer would be cool. Just a nautical-themed killer would be very, very cool. I would love that. Add Jaws. <laughs> That'd be cool, son. I would love it like an April Fool's joke from them. I think it would actually be really fun. But um, but like that would be so much coding and craziness to get into that. 13 Ghost Chapter would be very cool. Best ways for unlicensed killers. Yeah, the issue with unlicensed killers, though, like, I, I like seeing unlicensed killers, but I definitely get more excited about um, about licensed killers just because I get really interested to see how they adapt the killer to fit into the world of Dead by Daylight. 23... I thought it was 24. I thought it was 24, Link. Victor is always naked. Yeah. Victor wants a little top hat as well. A little top hat for Victor would be awesome. I've got two TVs in my lobby. Vampy Pink and Kazuto Mako. No, Kazuto Makoto. Kazuto Makoto. There you go. Oh. oh, I'm so hungry. Talking about pizza earlier has made me so fucking hungry. Yeah, damn. 
I'm hungry. Oh my god, cause that episode with the bear and the lion, Nicola talks about that all the time. I thought the live was ending. No, 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 we're still good. We're still here, don't worry. I'll, I'll make it very clear when I'm about to end. Like, I have a whole speech and everything. You'll, you, you'll definitely know when I'm ending. I do kind of need something to eat, though. I might go and look downstairs and see if there's a snack. BRB, guys, BRB. I need to get some water as well. Make sure you go stretch your legs, get some water, uh, and, and I'll leave you to jam out to some music. You absolute sweethearts. Thank you so much for being here. Mwah! BRB, one sec. Oh, yeah, I'll run a quick ad as well. Actually, that's a good point, Smith, because thank you very much. I'll run a quick ad while I'm gone. I'll see you guys in a second. I'll be two minutes. Two minutes. doing Taylor okay welcome in welcome in oh, I found a brownie went to a cafe earlier got a coffee and they had a deal on where you could get a brownie with it I got a lotus brownie look how fucking good this looks like it just looks immense it looks so good It's so crumbly. Dracula, what's my opinion? I would love to see a vampire killer. I just have... Um, I have no idea how it would, 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 uh, would work. Sorry. <laughs> I broke for a second there. Jesus Christ. Rating a brownie out of 10. I'll give you a full rating once I've eaten it. The same spadatus. Like, I fucking can't wait for that as well. Don't I take a sip? No. No, I stand during my streams. Am I American? No. I'm British. I'm from a city called Birmingham. Why is my music off? I've just realized that. My bad, guys. Sorry about it. Killer put on almond. Oh, fuck off. That's such a waste for my offering. Oh, please don't do almonds. Yes! How can the devs make the brownie better? <laughs> it is always the devs' fault, to be fair. Sitting isn't always a good thing. Yeah, so basically, I... I would be sat down for like 16 hours a day sometimes because my job, my full-time job is as a video editor. So I'm like always at a computer screen and, um, and it just got, it got really bad and I just, I hated it. So FlexiSpot sent me a standing desk and now every single time I stream, ah, cunt, cunt, that fucking spawn was insane. Every single time I stream, I stand up. I don't live in Birmingham. I'm from Birmingham. I don't live in Birmingham anymore, though. I moved out when I was 17 and um, and then moved up to Lincoln uh, for uni and then moved away again. Hey, player. How you doing? Uh, working on the Outbreak Breakout achievement. You're from France, Blackpink. I was actually in France recently um, in Paris for TwitchCon, which was fun. I will say, though, that I think Paris is overrated. <clears throat> Paris is incredibly overrated, in my opinion. Do, 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 do. Hey, K-Drama, how you doing? Most of my ancestors are from England. That's cool. What about Jeepers Creepers? 
Um, I don't think DVD would ever work with Jeepers Creepers because of what the director did, and I think the name of Jeepers Creepers has kind of been tarnished. Did I get some cheese? No. Yeah. No, yeah, I did actually. Yeah, I got um, Edam. I got some Edam cheese. Had it on a baguette while sat in front of the Eiffel Tower. It was the most French thing I think I could do. It was nice though. We fucking. It's not great, to be fair, Quartz, in all honesty. I do think it's kind of overrated. I think staying at the... Um, no, sorry. Uh, visiting the Eiffel Tower was cool, but the the issue with the Eiffel Tower that I found was that there were too many people walking around trying to sell you things. And obviously, I get it because it's a tourist trap. You know, like, makes sense. But it just... It was a really unfun experience. You know? Google it in your own time, player. 100%. Yeah, Google it in your own time. Thank you, K-Drama. Birmingham isn't East Midlands. No, uh, Lincoln was East Midlands. Birmingham is West Midlands, yeah. I've never heard of Big Time Rush, to be honest, at all. Twins are the most French thing I know. Baguette. Okay, I thought David was getting saves, but I don't think David is getting saves. Okay, I'm gonna have to go for saves. Oh, okay, that person just fucking yeeted. What's David doing? He's not in chase. Oh, yeah, I think he did get the save eventually. Jesus Christ. Hey, Ice-T, how you doing? Welcome in. What kind of music am I into? Uh, mostly dance music. I really like music that I can, like, move around to and... Uh, and just throw my body around too. Uh, but to be honest, I don't really have like one genre which I gravitate to. I just like music that kind of makes me just nod my head and move around. Like if it's got a good beat to it, I'm normally fine with whatever. If I could re remove one perk from the game. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like what's a really annoying perk to go up against but the issue is every single perk that i find annoying to go up against i will probably then use on the other side <laughs> um dead hard because it's shit have a good one hey bob thank you so much for popping in i appreciate you i don't mind no ed i don't mind no ed liquid motion music basically yeah yeah liquid motion hey puppy paws how you doing oh No, 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 Mr. Man. That's fine. I'll take the speed boost. These are disgusting, really, aren't they? You just, like, double loop. I can see you trying to just constantly go for the whips. But, like, why? Why? Oh my god, he missed. That's crazy. Okay, bye! <laughs> I know it's all caught, so you have a good one. Hopefully Harry doesn't beat you up. Blood Echo because it's garbage. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See, this is the issue. Like, every perk I'm trying to think of... Oh, fuck you. Every perk I'm trying to think of is like, what perk isn't used a lot? But then I can't think of it because it's not been used a lot. So it's like, I, I'm struggling. To be fair, I do not blame you at all, Dasher. What's the perk I would like to have in the game? Uh, <laughs> base kit corrupt intervention. Does that count? If that counts, that one. <laughs> what is everybody else doing? Leon's just not been around with the fucking... With the killer. Not getting saves. I do not know where Ada is. I was in chase. No one else was doing anything. What, what are you guys doing? I'm so sorry, buddy. Like, I'm so, so sorry. Base kit Noed. You know what? Somebody actually made a really good case for a base kit Noed. And I was like, you know what? I If it became it, I would. I actually wouldn't be, I would, I wouldn't be mad at it. 
I do not know where this Ada is. Like, I feel like Ada's just dipped off and playing her own game, to be honest. They were doing a gen? Ada? No, they weren't. They didn't have the gen icon. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is my man just trying to whip everyone? Oh, fuck off! Okay. Oh my god, my man is everywhere. These fucking zombies are just like everywhere. Why have I not got life? Nice, well played. Mm. What achievement are I doing? Outbreak Breakout. <sighs> I don't have an issue with Noid either. I think Noid's a really fun endgame perk because it just spices everything up. Like when I see a killer has it, I'm I'm fine with it. What are we doing? What are you doing? You're just spinning in fucking circles. You think you're a Beyblade or something? Jesus Christ. <laughs> you don't have to do a gen, I see. You just have to open the gate and escape. What about a bubba with no end insidious? It's like a basement bubba? I love basement bubbers. They're so good. Bubba is genuinely my favorite killer to go up against, hands down. Because... Um, because you just never know what you're going to get, you know? It could be like an absolute cracked bubba. It could be a bubba that's that's just memeing around. Like, it's just it's always different. And it's, it's just so much fun. Because you just never know. I would hate it, Thomas. I don't think anybody would do it. It'd be even more content, though, because you'd just be pulling your hair out figuratively, trying to get it done. Oh, fuck off, Ada. <laughs> no, what the fuck is that? Bud. I am upset, T Spaghetti. I am upset, T Spaghetti. Fucking Ada just led him to me. Shut off, you bastard. Leave me be, I'm an innocent sprog. Ah! Oh, there's a fucking zomboid. Fuck off, Ada! <laughs> You're sitting on two escapes? Nice. Uh, 14, I'm, I'm quite happy with. I think when I started the challenge, like originally, originally in the first stream, I was nine. I think I was on nine. Why don't I use made for this? Because I don't like it. Like, I know everybody really you know, like dies from, from made for this and, and kind of dies on the hill of that perk being amazing. But I've just, I, I, I've never really worked into my builds. When did someone die? A while ago now. I honestly think this is going to be a hatch game because there's just no teamwork. Am I, I'm crazy? Why am I crazy? What I do? I don't remember doing anything. He did warn her, yeah, which gave me more distance, which was good. Once you use life, it goes. What's the point? No, it doesn't. It's a, it's an exhaustion perk, so it comes back once your exhaustion uh, once your exhaustion runs out. Sorry. You play this lorry perk? When I'm trying to do this escape, yeah, because it gives me mad uh, gate opening uh, time.
pick up. Do not slug for the 4K. Thank you. Oh, made for this. Oh, um, yeah, I know. I, just, I don't know. I think I'm so used to my build that I don't often change it. You know, so like how I have it now is just how I prefer it. And I've kind of become accustomed to using them e each in a certain way. Okay, if he can just find the hatch, I can get out. Come on! When when you chose it, what do you mean, Rockstar? Balance landing is good on RPD. It is, yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. Come on, you fucker. Find it. Look at that. Look how quick that is. Fifteen, boys. Woo! What is my least popular DVD take? The one I seem to get most, um, most backlash for is saying that Michael Myers is the weakest killer in the game. David was being toxic. Did you... Okay. Yeah, I'd probably say that. Like, whenever I say that Michael Myers is the weakest killer, um, people get kind of mad. Sorry, I'm reading. A, I'm reading the thing. There are a lot. Of, there's a lot of hashtags. So I don't know what's happening. I could see it was being odd, but you played well. Yeah, I, I, I don't really care. I don't really care. I just wonder why are TTVs also toxic? They're not. They just get a bad rep for being toxic. From people like me, ironically. Can't lie. The brownie, I'm, I'm gonna give like a six out of 10 because it just tastes like a brownie. Like there's no lotus to it, even though I'm literally eating a lotus biscuit on top, the flavor just disappears into the brownie. Six out of 10. Still good snack because I'm fucking hungry. All right, so we had we have 15 now escapes, don't we? Mm, beautiful. Yes. Oh shit, that's not how you do it. There you go. Mm, I meant to say when they chose Nick Cage, some reason it got changed. Nick Cage, out of all of the celebrities, though, is probably the best choice because, like, it's he just fits like unquestionably. Like, oh, what what celebrity is coming into Dead by Daylight? Nick Cage? Yeah, that kind of makes sense. You know, it's it's mad, but if it was someone like. Um, I don't know who, who who's an actor. <laughs> Jack Nicholson. Like I don't feel like you'd expect like Jack Nicholson or Ryan Gosling to be in the game, but someone like Nicolas Cage fits. You know, what nail polish is it? It's just black. It's a uh, Boots own brand uh, black nail polish. It was Nicholas. I just thought I'd go back to basics for the for the for this color. I've had a lot of bright colors recently, so. Do, do, do. My little brother painted his nail for the first time the other day, which was really cute. Like he he sees me with my nails painted, and um, he kind of walked over to them and he was like, "Can I can I have some?" And I was like, "Well, you ca you need to wait for your mom because I was taking care of him for a day at that point." And I was like, "You need to wait for your mom. I can't give it you." So when my mom came, he was like. I want some of this and he kind of picked up and he gave it to her and he had the purple glittery one and he just painted his thumbs and it was really, really cute. It was really sweet. So I'm starting to get him in early. Dwayne Johnson, that'd be cool. <coughs> How long have I had the hat? Uh, pretty much since I started streaming. I've, I've got a couple. Uh, but yeah, probably since I started streaming. Jennifer Tilly would be an interesting fit to be fair. Chuck Norris. <laughs> I agree, Blackpink. Adam Sandler would be an interesting one. 
Adam Sandler would make less sense in my opinion. But I also wouldn't be mad at Adam Sandler being in the game. You know what? Scratch Mirror Myers is a lot of fun to play. Like it's, you know, it's one of the most fun builds and fun killer play styles in my opinion. But it's also actually really effective. Like if you can, if you can build up pressure quite early on, you can 4K with, with Myers, uh, Scratch Mirrors quite easily. Have a good one, Dap. Thank you so much for being here, buddy. Adam Sandler would only have meme perks, kind of like Nicolas Cage then. Burger King Myers, I do, I do remember Burger King Myers. Jennifer Coolidge, yeah, good one as well. Tom Holland wouldn't make sense. No, Tom Holland wouldn't make sense. Sydney Prescott would be really cool. The issue with Sydney Prescott is that there's no, uh, the Ghostface license that Behavior have isn't Scream, it's Ghostface. It's the mask from, uh, they call Fun World, I think the people who own the mask are. So it's not actually necessarily a Scream license, which is why we don't have any of the survivors. How many do I have? 15, I'm five off. Killing a survivor who completes it? That'd be fucking mad, Taylor. One thing I have said is if we ever got a Xenomorph killer, I would love to have the ability to put a face hugger in a gen as a trap so that when somebody, when a survivor went and touched the gen, if they ever touched it or completed it, the face hugger would jump out at them and then they'd have to get it off similar to, uh, similar to, to pigs, uh, pig, what are they called? Pie hats or whatever the fuck they're called, I don't know. Adam Sandler night skin where he summons Chris Rock, David Spade, and Kevin James. Love it. Patrick Swayze. Kurt Russell maybe would be pretty cool. Go for it, Vibrant. Yeah, the bear traps. That's the one. I call them party hats. <sighs> Sydney and Dewey's base and skins for Sam and Gale. Natara? No, Randy as well. Maybe though, yeah. I could definitely see Sydney would have to be one of the skins, obviously, because it's Sydney. Now it's terminated by himself. Arnold could work, to be fair. Arnold could work in the game. I don't know if he's a little bit more serious, though. Ah, oh, fucking no, not Waterhaven, man. I need to go to RPD, please. For the love of God. You butch. <laughs> Sam is more of the face of screen than Tara is, even though Tara is more popular. I mean, Sam's the, like the main character, but I feel like if you think of the new screams, you think of General Ortega. You know, like I wouldn't think of, I wouldn't think of Sam before Tara. I call them piggy banks because I confuse words and it's stuck. That's cute. <laughs> Other people's offerings with the main corporate, I would be fooming. Fernway gal, how you doing? Welcome in. Thank you so much for popping in. Thank you for supporting the content as well. I appreciate you. Is that the Coconut Mall film? No, it's uh, Toad's Factory. Although previously it might have been recently played. Yeah, it was recently. Yeah. So yeah, it was Coconut Mall. Now it's Toad's Factory. Worst horror movie I've ever seen. I would personally say that Halloween Kills was worse than Halloween Ends, but worst horror movie I've ever seen would probably be... <clears throat> um, Insidious Chapter 3 was really bad. The Nun was really bad. Um, there, <laughs> there's a film called... Um, Thanks, I think it's called like Thanks Killing, and it's got a, a murderous turkey as the as the killer of it. And that, that's fucking horrendous. Like that's a crazy movie. But it's kind of so bad that it's good. It's kind of one of those movies. So yeah. Can you call the Honey Poo movie a horror film? I think you can. I haven't seen it yet though, so I don't know. Am I gonna go see the new nun? No. Why the fuck would I pay money to see the second one of one of the worst films in the world? It's fucking disgusting. Black Sheep. You know what? Black Sheep was actually better than I expected it to be. Black Sheep was a movie I thought I would absolutely despise. 
and then and then it actually wasn't that bad it was it was too it was pretty good you know what rockstar I was waiting i was waiting for someone to make that joke as soon as chris rock was mentioned in my chat i was like someone's gonna mention will smith i knew it <laughs> i think the issue that megan had zorn was that it took itself way too seriously so then when it had those moments of like megan dancing it just felt really weird you know i feel like it either had to go full kind of chucky vibe where it was a lot of one-liners and it was a lot of ridiculous concepts or it needed to go into full like invisible man where it was a really serious film you know it, it kind of tried to sit in the middle for me and i didn't really like that i think that's the same with smile the film smile i think that that film just really was it kind of treaded this mid-ground of being like a insidious jump scary paranormal horror but then also had these moments where you were just kind of like, what the fuck is happening? And it just felt really ridiculous. It felt almost like uh, Malignant. If anybody's seen Malignant, that's a very out there 80s type film. And I feel like you, you, they were kind of trying to bridge the gap between like elevated horror and this, this kind of jump scary mainstream horror. You know, which version of Pennywise would I want? 2017, 100%. That's what I mean, yeah, Fernway. It was, it was like, it was like it was meant to be campy, and it should have been campy, but then it took itself way too seriously. I would have been on RPD as well, you fucker. Who was it? Who, who, this, who, D, who DC'd? Fucking Rebecca. Fucking Rebecca, mate. Fucking dickhead. You had balanced landing as well. That would have been phenomenal on RPD. Oh, you big nipple. Loved all the Paranormal Activity films. The first Paranormal Activity film gets way too much flack. The first Paranormal, Paranormal Activity film and also uh, Blair Witch Project and Cloverfield. Like those kind of films, they get way too much flack. I watched Wreck yesterday again. Oh my God, it's so good. <clears throat> the Evil Dead remakes. I actually thought the Evil Dead remakes were all right. Like Evil Dead Rise was, was phenomenal. I actually really enjoyed that film. I thought it was really, really good. Sleepaway Camp series? I honestly don't know what that is. Bum Bombay or Delfino Square? It's actually Frappe Snowland. <laughs> the center, you fucking ruined it. No, it's Frappe Snowland from Mario Kart 64. You silly sausage. What about the Grim Reaper himself? I would be interested in that concept. Like bringing death into the game, that would be kind of cool. And I think it'd be really fun to see how they did that. All Nightmare on Main Street? Do you mean Nightmare on Elm Street? <laughs> you know what? The Nightmare on Elm Street original, the first Nightmare on Elm Street film is phenomenal. I love that film. Even today, I feel like it definitely... Um, it definitely lives up and, and has kind of stood the test of time. I hated the remake. I thought the remake was absolutely shoddy. Um, and then I haven't watched all of the rest of them enough to really get a good vibe from them. But I thought the original was incredible. <laughs> Turns you into a skeleton as you rip your soul from your body. Very cool. Same, Bonnie. I would love Robert Englund, uh, Freddy in the in DVD. That'd be really cool. I think one of the reasons Freddy failed as a license is because they got the new one, which was just bollocks. Would I like to see Gremlins enter the game? No. For the same reason that I don't think Chucky should enter the game is the same reason I don't think Gremlins should. It's just too small. You know, like I don't think as a killer alone, they would be very good. Both of them were done by Wes Craven. I mean, Wes Craven is a fucking master of horror. He's great. Wes Craven, John Carpenter, David Cronenberg, like all these people are just absolutely, um, absolutely influential in the horror genre. That would be like Victor, exactly, yeah. Be like playing Victor for the entire game. It'd be ridiculous. With Richard Breakers, Freddy? Uh, I think Caleb uh, Monaghan. I think that's how you say his last name. The guy who played... Uh, the Joker in Gotham. I think he'd be a pretty interesting Freddy. Might be quite fun to see him in the role. Um, trying to think who else. Yeah, no. The Shining chapter. It's just a guy with an axe. 
You know, if you had Jack Torrance, he's just a guy with an axe. This is the issue with all these new chapter ideas is that the, the villain, the killer would just be a person with a weapon. Like they wouldn't have any supernatural abilities or anything like that. And we already have Ghostface and Myers who are kind of just guys with weapons and Legion as well as another one. Uh, so like there needs to be something unique and different about them. Which variation of Joker? Ooh. So my favorite variation of Joker is Heath Ledger, 100%. But I don't think Heath Ledger would fit into Dead by Daylight as much. I genuinely think either Gotham's version of, of the Joker or Jared Leto's version. Eldritch Horror, yeah, that'd be very cool jam. Like a, like a cosmic horror would be awesome. The Furbies from Attack the Block. What an underrated film, right? Fucking awesome British film that is. Welcome in, Just Corv. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for being here. Same, Zorm, same. I like Jared Leto's Joker. So I think right here, here, here. Okay, here's a hot take. I think Jared Leto's Joker was not given the, the opportunity to shine as much as he should have been. I don't like Jared Leto as a person. I think Jared Leto is a bit of a fucking prick, to be honest. But Jared Leto Joker had the potential to be a really, really cool Joker. And here's my backup. In the Snyder Cut of the Justice League, there is a scene where they are in the nightmare world. And you see Batman, the Joker, um, Amber Heard, ironically. I think the Flash is there. And the Joker and Batman have a conversation. And they have a conversation about something that they're going to do and they kind of start ribbing each other right that that conversation between jared letters joker and ben affleck's batman is one of the best the best iterations of a joker and a batman going head to head that i've ever seen it was a phenomenal scene and i i loved it and i genuinely think if we saw more of that version of jared leto's joker and like allowed to shine in those kind of moments i think he would have been a phenomenal joker maybe tall mr one where batman tells him to fuck off i agree the senate yeah the death angels would be awesome pirate welcome in how you doing welcome welcome cthulhu would be very cool i do like cthulhu found footage horror movies uh wreck is really good or quarantine which was the american remake cloverfield grave encounters I love Grave, Grave Encounters. I think that's one of the most underrated horror movies ever. Um, I think there was a there was like a kind of Rosemary's Baby type game uh, type movie, sorry, which was very which was found footage. As above, so below. Oh, what an awesome film that was! I am fuming, by the way, that we didn't get RPD. Almond Candy, welcome in. How you doing? Terrifier chapter? I haven't seen Terrifier, so I don't really have an opinion on it. Mark Hamill was great as Joker, to be fair. Mark Hamill as well in um, the Arkham games. He was really, really good. Yeah, I know, Kandor. Yeah, they were go he was going to be in it in some capacity. I'm... I think it worked that he didn't come back, though, because I think it made The Dark Knight that much better. Rip Kevin Conroy, yes sir. I'm looking for those rare James. Oh. oh, this match is gonna be hell. You know what, Phoenix? I actually think the Batman was incredibly overrated. Like Robert Patterson was good. I wish I we I wish we'd got to see more of his Bruce Wayne, uh, but I guess to be fair, in the story it, it didn't like Bruce Wayne doesn't really exist in that story. It's majoritively just Batman. But yeah, I thought it was really overrated. I actually did not think it was um, it was as good as people were making out. Yeah, they did tapped. Yeah, I mean like when Terrifier Two came out, the main person pushing for a um, for a Terrifier chapter was the creator of Terrifier. The Riddler felt scary real. 
Yeah, yeah, I think he was too real. Like, I think he was too gritty. Like, I know Batman's a gritty character, but Batman's also a comical character, you know? Like, you've got the Riddler, you've got Calendar Man, you've got all of these ridiculous villains, and the reason they are so good is because they are fucking ridiculous as villains. So, like, to see Riddler be this kind of incel-type character, I was just a bit like... Man, I would have preferred more of, like, a... Jim Carrey's Riddler, but a bit more threatening, you know? <clears throat> what do I like best between Marvel and DC? I've always said that Marvel uh, is better at heroes. I think Marvel's heroes are better, but DC's villains are better. I always think that DC really ca really does well with the, with the villains because it's a grittier universe. Whereas Marvel, because it's a little bit more upbeat at times, is, um, is better at the heroes. Dream DVD collab, Pennywise. Mortal Kombat would be interesting in DVD. I don't know how it would. Um, I don't know how it would it would work, but it would definitely be interesting. Thoughts on Moon Knight? Oh, I liked Moon Knight. I like the. I I looked into Moon Knight a lot more after the TV series as well, and I actually had a really good time like finding out about that character. I think it was cool. Mark Strong is Lex Luthor. Good choice. That would be a good choice. A Croc-inspired killer, like Killer Croc. It would definitely be cool. Hit Monkey? No. Haven't seen it. Never even heard of it, to be honest. Oh, I'm fucked. She waits out the spins. Have I seen Secret Invasion yet? I watched the first episode and I thought, this is so boring. So I haven't watched the rest of them yet. I will watch it eventually. But genuinely, I thought it was terrible. John Cryer? You know, John Cryer was actually really good as Lex Luthor. Yeah, I agree. I think John Cryer as a comedic actor in the serious role was a really good switch. It gets better. You know what? I, I watched the end of the first episode pissed me off. I'm not going to lie. Like that moment. I'm not going to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. But that moment should have been a big moment. And it was like it was over in 30 seconds. And I was like, what the fuck am I watching? Like it just feels too rushed. This is the issue that I have with Marvel at the moment is that everything is just being churned out too quickly. Everything feels very rushed. Everything feels like it hasn't had the care and attention given to it that the that the earlier movies had and like i just i'm kind of getting bored of it you know falcon and the winter soldier was okay it was quite funny so i didn't mind it too much i wish we'd got more of um zemo as the the purple mask guy he was like really advertised and then he was in it for like two seconds and it didn't do anything but i, I didn't mind Fal uh, falcon and winter, winter soldier to be fair quantity over quality that's definitely what marvel's doing at the moment yeah and that sucks because the reason the earlier movies were so fun is because they had the care and attention put into them and they weren't rushed and now they're just being churned out. I mean, like, obviously, I'm, I'm not trying to say that all of Phase 4 has been terrible, or Phase 5, or whatever on. You know, there are some movies and TV shows that came out after Endgame which were absolutely incredible. I think Black Widow was amazing. I think Loki was amazing. I think Shang-Chi was one of the best films that they've made in the MCU. But others have just been incredibly rushed and not at all well thought out. Yeah. Catwoman is criminally underrated. The one with Halle Berry. Opinion on Alien Isolation. Loved that game. Had a lot of fun with that game. Very scary. Very creepy. Do I like Quantum Mania? Haven't seen it. I haven't seen Quantum Mania and I haven't seen Love and Thunder, uh, the Thor film. I haven't seen. What else haven't I seen? I feel like a film came out recently that I haven't seen. Obviously, I haven't seen Secret Invasion. Fuck's sake. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen a lot of them. Was Danny Jr. gone? I feel like it all just flops. I feel like it flops because it was just... It, it became too much of a production line. 
You know, it wasn't about telling the stories anymore. It was about bringing in as many properties as possible and getting them out as quickly as possible. And I think that it just, it, it just made it all crap. <clears throat> yeah, but Harley is better, to be fair, Phoenix. Uh, Harley is better. <laughs> I think She-Hulk was terrible. I think She-Hulk I think She-Hulk started really strong, but I thought the ending of She-Hulk was just so bad. Like I think I get what they were trying to do with the ending of it, but it kind of just became the very issue that it was trying to say the MCU was suffering from. And like I I really didn't enjoy it. I thought it was terrible. Do you know I'm here? Oh, you're a prick. Aha, you got tricked. I got stuck on a rock. Fucking hay rocks. We fuck you. Loving this hot take stream, I know, right? I'm gonna get cancelled for all my opinions here. <laughs> like I, like I said, I think She Hulk died really well, but I think the issue with She Hulk is that it it basically highlighted the fact that nothing matters in the MCU anymore. Like, everything can be undone. Everything can be changed. Nothing actually has any any solid lasting value anymore because it's just... It's just... It, it, none of it matters. And that was the biggest issue for me. Actually, the Senate, I think that's the biggest issue they're having now is that they are just making those movies. Like... The movies before were fun because they each one kind of said something and like had a theme and all of that. And now it just feels very, oh, let's just get whatever character this in, get them to punch somebody and it'll be fine. Can you please stop trying to beat me up with them fucking birds? I've had about zero time. Oh my God, she's so good at countering spins. Hey, Nora's all PC. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you. They messed up by making Thanos a wuss. I don't, I don't think they made Thanos a wuss. Like, Thanos was brutal as fuck in Endgame. If you're talking about, like, the after Infinity War version, that was because he's achieved everything he wanted to achieve, so he had no reason to fight anymore. Yeah, I think that's an issue, though, Smithicus, is, like... For example, now when a character dies, the death isn't as impactful because they can just go and find another version of the character. You know, like when when Multiverse of Madness came out, for example, and M Mr. Fantastic was in it and then he died, you were like, okay, yeah, but that doesn't really matter because we're just going to get a different version of him anyway. You know, I just like, it just, it nothing has impact anymore. Nothing has weight. hey -oh! Yeah, exactly, the Senate, yeah. Because of a 4-4 power, she's done that in the comments before. It just made everything kind of boring. You know, like, I think another issue I had with She-Hulk was that it it never had a core story. You know, like, each episode was kind of like, okay, but, like, where are we going now? You know, it took, like, three episodes before they introduced the people trying to get her blood. And then the people got her blood. And then something happened. And then She-Hulk went, no, I don't like this ending. And then went and found Kevin Feige and changed it. And everyone lived happily ever after. It was just like really weird. It was, I didn't get it. I thought it was just a really anticlimactic ending. That true is our rock star, yeah? Funding concept but wasn't done properly. Yeah, I mean, the actress who played She-Hulk is incredible. I love her as an actress. She was in... She was in a show where she had clones. I can't remember what it is. Orphan Black. That was an awesome series. Um, 
And like the first couple of episodes I was really on board with. I was like, yeah, this is really cool. I'm enjoying this. And then it just, it didn't go anywhere. So I didn't, I didn't really enjoy it anymore. That's fair if it's in spirit to the comics, but maybe because of that, it just wasn't, it didn't translate well. Outlast Trials, awesome. Outlast Trials are so good. You know what I love most about the Outlast Trials? The fact that they released the game when it was ready to be released. Can you please go after the injured person? Are you fucking serious? Are you serious? I need to escape. Why are you coming after me? Oh, you're a big fuck. <laughs> of course she does. I mean, I don't need to escape on this one. It's not it's not RPD to be fair, so I guess it doesn't really matter. She yeah, like I say, She-Hulk being a 4-4 four, four break character might have really worked for the story for the comic, sorry, but when it translated to screen it just felt cheap. You know, if I compare it to Deadpool, Deadpool was a fourth wall, bro, uh, fourth wall breaking character, but he broke the fourth wall to reference the script that was already written. It wasn't like he could change the story, but he could he could comment on the story, which felt nicer because it still felt like you were on this journey with him. And, you know, the story wasn't going to change or become unimportant anymore. Whereas with She-Hulk... It was like all the story didn't matter because the character was just going to change it to suit whatever she wanted. Like, no, I didn't like that. Back off! <laughs> Cage is still, uh, still six days away? I know, right? It's come around quick, though. GG's. He doesn't just murder all the Avengers. He murders fucking everyone. He murders the entire universe. Yeah. But again, that was a story he was set on. You know, it wasn't like he was he he changed the rules. He just did his story. <sighs> yeah. Like, I get that She-Hulk was more comically accurate, but I don't think that worked on screen. And I thought it made the whole She-Hulk series very cheap and, uh, and very meaningless. You can disagree with me? That's absolutely fun. What challenge am I trying to complete? Outbreak Breakout. So I'm trying to take us to RPD, but this bastard here, the Steve, took us to fucking McMillan. Uh, so that match just didn't count at all. Joker from Batman? Uh, I think it would be all right, but Joker from Batman is essentially clown. You know, he, like, he's a clown and he would throw laughing gas bottles. So he would, he's basically in the fucking game anyway. You should be publicly shunned for eternity. <laughs> didn't like Black Panther 2, it just didn't sit well with me. The issue that I had with Black Panther 2 was the fact that all of the issues it explored we'd already explored with uh, T'Challa's character. You know, like, it was revenge, it was a family member dying, and this the, the new Black Panther going on this, uh, this journey of revenge, and then realizing that revenge isn't the answer. That was basically what happened with T'Challa in Civil War. So I just, I think I got really frustrated that the same story was told. You know, like, I, I just wanted it to be, I, I wanted it to be a different theme and a different story. So I didn't, I didn't connect with it as well. Want to give the idea that Yui is transcoded? Ooh, interesting. See, I, you know what? I think that's the great thing about DBD is that a lot of the characters can be interpreted in whatever way you want them to be. You know, if you interpret them as a trans character, excellent. That's cool. So yeah, I like it. Thoughts on Cocaine Bear as a killer? Haven't seen the film. How do I have 2,600 points? Because Nick Cage releases in six days. So I am not spending a single one of those points. I hit I hit uh, the the two mil mark and then I got rank reset. And then I think I put in a code, which got me some more. So it, it all just kind of added up. <sighs> Alrighty then. That I think, ladies and gentlemen, is actually gonna bring us to the end of the stream. The reason why is because my voice is going. I don't know if you can hear it, 
but I'm very, I'm very much starting to struggle with speaking now. So we are going to end stream here. I want to thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. It's been a pleasure. I love all the chats that we've had. And thank you so much for, for making this an awesome uh, few hours. Obviously, we didn't complete the challenge. That fucking sucks. But that just means that there's going to be a part three at some point. So keep an eye out for part three. We have five more escapes left. We hit five in the first one. We hit five in the second one. So that just means in part three, we are winning this challenge. Let's go. Now, if you haven't checked me out on Twitch, uh, please do. I am going to be streaming over there on Friday with a special sponsored stream where I will be doing a cursed cosplay. Apparently, there it is. There's the link. If you want to click that, drop me a follow. Show me some love over there and you will catch me over there on Friday and also on Sunday. Uh, I should be back on YouTube next week, though, and obviously I will have video content in the meantime, so keep an eye out for that. But for now, go out there, be the best time Kong C can be. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Thank you for being here. I'm going to let the song play. I'm going to let it go because we can't raid over here on YouTube. So enjoy the song, and I will see you in the next one. You're all amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Bye for now. Yeah, it's our time to shine. Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine with hard work and time. You gotta climb to the top. Don't let yourself drop till your heart stops. Let this beat rock. Got a new clock and a new stock for this new rock. Just let your mind loose from the new stock. Drunk off the goose. Yeah. Thinking that I'm too yeah. Getting caught with a few thoughts. Cause I'm too to lost. Off. Speakers can't even handle me. Even what I got, nobody can drain my energy. And I will never stop. I'm motivated by enemies. Setting up shop so everybody remember me. And now I am not going through life regretfully. I'd rather work. Non-stop, what they call incessantly Then want some more job just to live life pleasantly Already got lost in my mind, not a fantasy I'm getting With all I've got and souls, so stop, drop and roll Yeah, lost all control and pop off your phone I got what I fold, I'm not bought, I'm sold My stock rocks, it's gold, hey, knock, knock She holds it, shit, talk to clothes I ain't stopping, though, it's hip-hop, you know Or is it rock and roll? I'm not dropping, don't know my pockets grow You can't stop the show, so get fucked, you know So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you